So basically, I started off my morning as per usual and saw that Tom Foolery had a live stream. And I was like, cool, I'll catch up with Tom. And then I heard my name and I was like, oh, they're talking about me. Thank you. Main character syndrome happening. And they ended up talking about my levels and, of course, got it wrong. But that's okay. I don't expect people to get it right. Though I will say Mantis hopped on at one point in the stream and I think did a really good job at explaining her thought process. And so I thought that was kind of nice. But the other person, I don't know who it was, talking to Tom, um, they just, you know, it's so interesting to hear people explain my levels out loud and, like, how obviously wrong they get it, but that's also okay because that's a part of what my work I think shows, which is like we're in bubbles and we have difference of uh, how we use language. And because of how different we are when we use language, people forget um, how to communicate and what words mean. So we're gonna watch this section with you guys today and then dissect it. And then I'm sure Tom and I will talk, it at, talk about it at a later time. Uh, just keep something in mind. We're in the philosophy bubble now. Okay, so the philosophy bubble is different. It's global. And every bubble talks about things differently. So as we're going and listening to this video, just like keep that in mind. You know, we're not all having the same relationship with these words or what it even means to introspect or extrospect. And I'm going to show you some of the things that stood out to me in their discussion and why I think people get it so wrong. Even though they don't mean to, it's not like they do it on purpose. It's not like they're sitting there and trying to purposely get my stuff wrong or my levels. They're just, they don't get it. And it's not bad that they don't get it because it gives me an opportunity to explain it uh, in real time. So let's go ahead and do that together. Okay, so this is, uh, I think this morning's stream, yesterday's stream. And this is uh, 35 minutes into the stream. I don't know who he's talking to. The, the name says Ian. I don't know who Ian is. Um, so I don't know who that is, but he's talking to somebody named Ian, I guess. Um, okay, let's see. And mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's what it is. And speaking of, speaking of Brittany Simon, I feel like she still believes in the, uh, level system for- <laughs> Okay, pause. Speaking of Brittany Simon, I think she still believes in the level system. It's literally my work. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. Like, it's literally my work. <laughs> my contribution to society. <laughs> I think she still believes in the level system. Made me gag. I was like, that is so funny. Okay. Or, uh, what's the thing? Um, introspection. Introspection, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't like that. I don't think there's like a level to introspection because like i feel like some people who are very in introspective in one thing they're like so bad at being introspective in like another field of something or like another topic like okay so right now he's simply explaining the phenomenon of you're introspective in one way but on other ways and they're relating that to the level system so you and i are going to have fun figuring out what they think the level system is as they talk about it right so right now he's saying i think it doesn't make sense because everyone is differently introspective at different things and i'm like yeah my level system talks about that yep yep good uh-huh but he's saying that's in contradiction to the levels why does he think that like, there's like a introspection is like a thing that you have or don't like it's like uh, mm -hmm. it's like uh, it, Tom is introspective in terms of dating, but he's not that in terms of like uh, um, finance. Like he doesn't have like a good finance. Mm, he's introspective when it comes to finance, but not when it comes or when it comes to dating, but not when it comes to finance. And I'm like, we're not talking about the same thing, right? Like we're not talking about the same thing. It's interesting, we're talking about similar things, but when I'm talking about the levels, we're talking about ultimately extrospection and introspection. So nothing about my levels is contradictory to what he's saying right now, right? It's just like, he's talking about a very specific thing, sort of in relation to what I'm talking about, but I am talking about something more as well. So, okay, let's let's give him a chance. Finance or whatever. So he mm -hmm. cannot give like a good financial advice, but he's very introspective in terms of dating so he could give like good dating advice right well, that's what i mean i've said 
So Ingrid says introspection is not intelligence, bro. So I think a lot of people think introspection is related to intelligence in which it, it does have overlap. But even like intelligent people doesn't necessarily mean you're very introspective. And introspection is a spectrum. So even children experience introspection. And then of course, like my bubbles and then the levels represent like twos versus fives. The relationship you're having with introspection and extrospection very specifically it's a very specific distinction, right? Britt says, I feel like if the levels were named after colors or something innocuous, people would be less defensive about it. I disagree. You ever, you ever talk to somebody who owned data Pisces or a Sagittarius? No matter what you name it, people will make it a hierarchy. No matter what you name it, people will associate negativity with the thing they think is bad. And the thing they think is good will be the good thing. No matter what you call it, it doesn't matter. People will decide, ew, pink's not even a cute color. Red is so much better. Ew, you like blue? I've had these conversations growing up. People, people will make it, they will turn it into a competition no matter what. Which is why if you're offended at the levels and what they are as a number system, like it's almost like you're automatically leveling yourself. If you literally think one through five is too much, you're already leveling yourself. The irony is there. Dead my in. That's a, that's exactly what what my criticism of the level system has been this entire time. Has Tom watched my two hour video? I wonder if he has. Is that I don't think you can give an overall sort of introspection. Like there's some things exactly. I've talked about this that like there are tons of things that for myself I am very introspective on, but there's tons of other things that I'm just not. Whether it's like that I'm just blind to it being a problem, or whether I just don't even give a fuck, or whether I'm. Um, or it's like something that I'm like, um, like actually proud of or something like there's, there's, yeah, there's just tons of areas where I definitely am very introspective and then tons where I'm not. And I don't like the idea of like an overall rating of introspection. Yeah. I feel like, um, one thing I judge introspection is that, um, like if you have like creative way of explaining things or a creative way of like, uh, rationalizing rationalize something uh, mm -hmm. that's kind of like a sign of introspection right uh, that means you kind of understand something very deeply that you could uh, view this through multiple lens and kind of answer it creatively and I feel like Brittany is very introspective in terms of I don't know like maybe she's like in terms of mental health but Notice how they always associate me with mental health instead of introspection. Probably because I've overcome a lot of my mental health problems, but also what do you think I used to do that? Introspection. They don't even, like, he's saying it out loud, but he's not connecting it. You know what I mean? It's like they say it out loud, but they can't connect it. Sometimes she says something that is, that, that, is so normal that it doesn't sound int introspective like oh we're humans we're not gonna do anything uh yeah you're the level of matter. like individualism that she gets to seems yeah i i the I, i'll say though um because like when i when i got off of drugs got out of prison and I've talked about this a ton that like I went years, maybe like five, six, seven years, just kind of like shutting myself off to everybody and just working on myself, working on personality traits, trying to like fix problems with my. This is like really good. You can be internally knowledgeable about the self. You can do a lot of introspective work and still not get to level five, because once you get to level five, you're not just having an introspection journey. You're having an extrospection journey. Threes are people who are questioning like, do I wanna go extrospective as well as introspective? Twos can be very introspective, but they usually are introspective within the confines of the bubble because it's comfortable. And again, fives all live in bubbles. We all end up in bubbles. It's just like either of our making or not. And twos can make their own bubbles, but usually it's in contrast to the bubble, right? So nothing Tommy is saying here contradicts anything I've talked about in my work. Nothing they're saying does anything more than prove my work is valid because they're saying exactly what I've said before about certain bubbles within the levels. They are almost perfectly explaining twos right now by expressing their own stories and they don't even realize it. And it's beautiful to watch, absolutely gorgeous. 
If it said somewhat, but I would say people just see it as a ranking. So they usually see you as feeling superior. Most people never get what a one is. They don't get what ones are and they don't get that. It's not about being superior. It's about having enough humility to know that, oh, like you don't know anything. And none of, and all of us are just sitting here pretending we know stuff. Even I'm sitting here and saying like, I don't know. And everyone's like, I don't get that. If you're five, shouldn't you know everything? No, the whole point of getting to five the saying like, not only do you not know, all you know is like it's a construct and everything is a construct. So I created a construct called the levels and I asked people to engage with it. And then they still contradict, like, watch, they're about to say, um, they're about to say something that made me laugh where they're like, everything is subjective. Okay. So then my levels are correct because it's subjectively correct. Oh, but I don't think it's correct. On what means is it not correct? Either you agree it's all subjective or you don't agree it's all subjective. But they don't actually agree it's all subjective. And that's what's kind of ironic. So you'll see that come up. It's pretty good. I'm pretty excited about it already. Hold on, though. I want to get through your comments because I don't want to miss any good ones. Cases they really missed it. The levels are about personal introspection, not introspection in relation to external or personal attributes. Yeah, the only time I think they're confusing extrospection with introspection a lot in this conversation, which I think is interesting. A lot of people don't know the concept of extrospection. I don't think it's a word a lot of people use, to be fair. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. Britt says, yeah, maybe they think introspection just means thinking. Well, they'll expand on it. But yeah, I think people correlate intelligence, thinking, pondering, improving as all introspection. And they think it's like it is on a spectrum introspection. It's just not the introspection I'm talking about that like is after you do the baby steps, right? Um, Everly says it's introspection in relation to existing and existence, not being knowledgeable or introspective about this and that part of yourself, right? So they're confusing introspection existing with in extrospection existence, right? There's a lot of that as well. Um, Britt says, I think the language too of get to five is confusing for people casually hearing about it. That is true too. Obviously, I don't want people to think that people, sh you should be aiming for your joy and your joy could look like a five or it could look like a two. I just want people to be joyful if that's what you want. It doesn't matter what your level is at the end of the day. What matters is that you're joyful, which is furthest from your subjective construct of evil, right? So uh, Trip says, I haven't heard the of the word extrospection before yesterday for real, for real. I love that. Bubble pop. Let's go myself, whether it was lying, whether it was the way that I presented myself, the way that I talk, um, like just really like zoning in on specific aspects of myself at a time, specific characteristics and trying to work on those and trying to fix that. And I didn't stop once I like. Felt oh, you know, what would be really good right now. Um, why don't I bring my categories into this? So what category of introspection are we talking about? Right. So we're all talking about introspection, but they're talking about light blue and I'm talking about dark, dark blue. Okay. So they're talking about light blue. No, actually, mm, I like light blue better. I'm talking about light blue and they're talking about the other blues. Okay. So we're each talking about blue, which is introspection. We were not having the same conversation about it, which is why we're not listening or understanding each other, which is very normal and totally okay. We do that all the time. The amount of times, even like later in the stream, Tom quotes me saying something. And I'm like, that's not what I said. But I understand why he said that's what I said, because we all use language differently. So it makes sense that his brain heard what he heard. But I had to DM him and be like, hey, bro, that's not what I meant. And like, just let him know because it's not a big deal, but it is language. It's why there's so much miscommunication in the world. We Words mean things like you have to have words mean things, but they mean different things in different bubbles. That's all. So words mean things, gender means something, but it doesn't mean something globally. It only means something within the bubble that has a relationship with the word gender and every bubble has a different relationship with the word gender, right? Felt like once I started dating again, once I started like going out again and started like uh, socializing a lot more, I didn't stop working on those things. I feel like it's kind of been an obsession ever since. It's to just keep finding things that I could improve on and work on and, uh, and I always have some like thing that I'm like looking at. And when people are critical of me, I take it very seriously, even if I don't think very much of those people. Ah, mistake. <laughs> mistake. Mistake. What do I give a fuck what a Nazi thinks about me? What do I give a fuck what a chronic cheater thinks about me? Why would I give a fuck what a piece of shit thinks about me? Right? You know who I care who thinks what about me? People I fucking respect.
People I fucking respect. That's who I fucking want to hear some criticism from. Why the fuck do you care what losers think about you, bro? Seems sussy. I'll still always consider it. Like, I always stop and think like, okay, is there like, even if I'm, even if I Don't get me wrong. Do I consider it and ponder it? Sure. I'm like, hey, is this fucking right? Now nah, this loser's a loser. They don't know shit. Sometimes losers get it right. But often they don't. That's why they're losers. Okay? So maybe they would have gotten something right. But probably fucking not. Because they're losers. Now, I understand considering it. But not... N you take what you, the loser says and you take it to a, a respectable person. You say, hey, does this loser have a point? And then you sit there and you deconstruct the idea. Right? You have, to, you have to deconstruct the idea. And the answer is no most of the time. Okay? Sometimes. But mostly no. Right? Let's be real. Ingrid says, this is something I had to learn the hard way. We all have to learn it the hard way, myself included. Even I have to learn it the hard way. This is why you have to have a good community around you so you can review yourself, so you can get criticism, but you even got to get it from the right people who can give it to you. That's why I'm also really lucky that people in my inner circle are like, hey, dude, I have too much bias. I can't actually answer this because no matter what you say, I'm going to tell you not to do this, right? And that's like us being really honest with each other. Like, bro, I would love to give you advice on this, but ah, I can't get out of my bias on this one. You should contact so-and-so. And that's the best kind of friend group to have. Now, not everybody is perfect. And sometimes they're in their trauma. Sometimes they can't handle it. Sometimes they can't give you good advice. Even though you respect them, uh, sometimes it's just too outside their own depth. Right? So, yeah, Tom is fair for wanting people or wanting to take people into consideration. But he takes losers into consideration. Not good. Kayla says, I talked about the levels recently in a video, but was pretty neutral about them. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go. Beza says, when I was a teen and I would go on incel forums, I was dumb and egocentric enough to think I could change their minds about girls. No use worrying about what people who hate you think about you. Literally don't have time for a girl. Not interested. Thank you. You know. I think that person's fucking retarded. Is there some way that I'm like presenting this that I could present it better? Doesn't matter because if they're really never going to listen to you or hear you, it doesn't matter. That's the losing battle I had to learn. It doesn't matter how differently I speak. Someone's going to misunderstand me. Why does Tom misunderstand me sometimes? Why do I misunderstand Tom? I know we're not doing it maliciously because we're people. So if Tom and I who like each other misunderstand each other, uh, you think people who don't like you are going to fucking hear you any better? Like that's the irony, right? It, yes, you can improve upon yourself. I think about that all the time. Can I speak better? Should I talk differently? I talk to you guys about it all the time. That's not the same thing as introspection. Introspection is different. He is talking about extrospection right now. He isn't talking about his internal monologue. He's talking about him in relation to the existence outside of himself. So he is contemplating extrospection right now. He's asking about internal monologues in relation to outside monologues. He is not being introspective. He's being extrospective right now. That they would understand it as well and that like. Now that could lead to introspection and it overlaps, but that's not really the issue because the issue never would have occurred without that outside source being in conflict with the self. So when the outside source is the conflict in the dilemma, that's extrospection. When the conflict is within, it's introspection. That's another way to think about it. Would make this make sense. And so throughout all of this shit, like each time I'm seeing people that I think are fucking retarded or insanely uh, dishonest, I still stop every time. And I'm like, OK, so there's something that I'm doing here. So he thinks he's better because he's taking into opinions what losers think. And I think it is better not to consider what a loser thinks. It's kind of like fucking this up and making this seem like something that it's obviously not. Um and then, yeah. It, th right. Vibrancy says he's not asking himself about himself in relation to himself. Exactly. He's asking himself how to be better at his job in relation to the bubbles consuming him. That kind of like drove me crazy for about a month. Like felt gaslit, felt like I was losing my fucking mind for a while. And at a, yeah, at a certain point, I had to actually like look at all these people and be like, you know what? They're they're actually just fucking retarded. Like <laughs> they actually are. They actually are just dishonest. They actually are lying. And there's just nothing more to it than that. I can't fix this. I can't make it better. I can't try to like present these things in a better way. They're just liars. They're just lying. And that it's as simple as that. So yeah, that like the... The introspection thing is like, I think uh, it it's like an obsession for 
uh, somebody like me where you've had to like change so many aspects of your life over a uh, long period of time. And you can do that a hundred thousand times and never get out of the two bubble. Twos can change a thousand times in a lifetime and never need to go to three, four, five, which is beautiful. That's how versatile being a two is. Twos can change a thousand times, can have introspective bubble after introspective bubble pop and never bother going to three, four, five, specifically four and five. And that's the thing people have to understand is most of the world finds no need to ever go to five. That's why it's an individual based like that's why I work with individuals because collectives most certainly don't need to get to five. What would what would what would be the benefit to collectives getting to five? Right. It's an ind ind introspection, independent journey. The individual finds themselves needing to get to five. Society never does. Society operates perfectly within the two mechanism and never needs to leave it because that's how it thrives because we're this evolved species. We're this animal species as a co conglomerate, as a as a as a mob. We do much better having one bubble we stick to and move as a body of fish. If the individual fish leaves, then that individual fish can decide to become a five. But society as a whole never strives to be a five. So at that point, they're only having a relationship within the mechanism of the two bubble, which is where most people are. Most people, most philosophers, most world leaders, most people who win the Nobel Peace Prize. Twos. Twos. And it's, there's not like times where I feel like, oh, I can just ignore these. No, Buddhists are also mostly twos. Mantis says, unless you're in the Buddhist bubble, I think Buddhists, a lot of them are twos. I would say a majority of them are twos as well. Because even though they're practicing Buddhism, are they having a real relationship with it? These people, like, I don't ever, I don't ever get that uh, feeling ever. I don't Can think. I ask you something? Like, did reading about evolution, did it help you become more introspective, like, around, like... That's an interesting question. Did reading about evolution help you become more introspective? Hmm. The meaning of life or how like um in general like how you view everything um well it, it it made it to where i left religion so yeah obviously to some extent uh <clears throat> yeah um, like because like for me it kind of did that did the same thing it's just that uh so many things kind of like uh uh kind of came together and kind of mm -hmm. like, uh, and I'm not sure. You remember you, like a, I talked about the fact that like, they don't even teach evolution in schools here. And that like blew your mind. You're like, wait, what? That's so strange. You, you guys want me to make them go faster? We can do that. We'll make them go a little bit faster. Oh, man, I you, still don't believe it. You, yes, this you kept so, saying you didn't believe me. I had to show you I actual still, evidence day, that feel, we don't. To some sense, I, I feel like. It, it, Kayla says it would be surprising based on what i know if a group like buddhism would be anything but twos well think about it that means because like to identify even as a buddhist is to say I identify with the construct so identifying with the label is fine but ultimately if you think buddhism is the end all be all like that's a two thought process right it wouldn't make any sense like it wouldn't make any sense maiden says the levels is about individualizing individuating sorry yourself from the bubbles and using the bubbles as a tool for yourself as opposed to allowing the bubbles to inform who you are exactly thank you maiden exactly exactly very specifically different right so we're doing like maiden just said it perfectly poetic honestly you know Chrissy says, how many fives do you know, Britt? Honestly, I don't keep count on these things, but I would say uh, enough. <laughs> and of course, the thing I keep saying that no one believes is even though you're a five doesn't mean you get along with each other, right? Because you're going to have at the end of the day, different values and beliefs and different relationships to the constructs that could cause issues, whether you're fives or not. So the idea of fiveness being the end all be all five, my level system is the, is sort of like, how do I say this? To a person who's never introspected in their life, being a five feels like the end journey. To a person who's a five, it feels like the beginning journey of the very real journey. So the irony, of course, is like my level system, which is a breathing and like evolving thing to somebody who's never introspected, like in a deep, profound way past like what color do I like and why do I like music? 
once they get to like once they're a, a two, let's say, or a three who thinks like, oh, there's a five. They think once I get to five, that's the end of it. I'm so sorry to break it to you. Once you get to five, you're now a baby five. And now it's the beginning journey of the rest of it, which I haven't bothered to number because there's no point to me. Just like now you're on the next journey. So I am now I'm always in the student chair. Right. You're always in the student chair. So like being a five is now just the beginning of the next part of it. And then I'm assuming at some point in my life, you know, I'll wake up and be like, oh, here's the next part of it. But right now, like, you know, let's say there's three parts. I'm in the middle part. Five is the middle part. But if you're a two, five feels like the end part. So that's why people think it's a hierarchy where I put myself at the top. The top of what? There's no end. The top of what, bro? The journey just started, bro. There's no end, bro. You know what the end is? Death. Maybe. Maybe. There is no end to introspection. There is no end to extrospection. There is no end to knowing more. There's no end. There's no way. There's no way there's an end. And if there is an end, I never met anybody who said so. So like that they're harboring secrets, which is fine. But that's why you have to discover it for yourself. Like, Erudite was right. Like, I don't know if you're making this shit. Oh my not. goodness. I, this is so you're backwards. Such a fucking liar. Like, what kind of bum-ass country do you live in? Like, <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what, are they flirting with each other no, over education? This is so strange. Like, you went to a public school, right? Yeah. So, okay, hold on. This there's is literally no, nothing. They agree with you, bro. We went over it. Where which states require to change the law He's to where they did He's explaining bubbles. They're basically having a discussion about bubbles. Like, oh my god, your bubble doesn't teach evolution. I told you. American school systems let you skip out of evolution class, which is true. Did you know that, Europeans? Did you know in America you don't have to take a class on evolution in certain schools because it's a religious, like, violation? Anyways, that's, like, a whole thing. Okay, that's why they always say, can you teach evolution and creationism next to each other? Because people are in their bubbles. Okay, so they're just explaining bubbles to one another without even realizing it. And this guy who's claiming he knows what introspection is is like, whoa. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll let you in on a little secret. I don't know everything, in case you haven't figured that out. And I'm a human who's susceptible to her biology and her genetics and her faults and everything else, right? And sometimes on stream, I do pretend a little bit that I don't know something that I might know a little bit just to see what the audience says before I say my thing because I don't want me to make the audience feel like they have to react a certain way sometimes. But often, I'm here to learn as much as you are but again, pay attention to this guy who says, Brittany's wrong. I know what introspection is. Holy shit, I'm popping a bubble realizing like you don't even have to take evolution in class. I'm like, yeah, dude, that's the point. All you're doing is bubble popping for the rest of your life once you realize like the world doesn't operate the way you operate. And that's the dilemma that I'm waiting to see people understand. That's all my work is saying. My work is saying it's all a construct and you all keep acting like it's not, even though you keep saying it is subjective and you keep saying, oh, look, the world is different and it operates different, none of you are actually having the existential, true understanding of what that even means in the first place. And I can tell because I see it on your fucking face. Discord says the most simplistic way I describe the difference between a two and a five is a five is someone who engages with the nuance of the internal and external to most accurately understand their position in life. A two will do that, but only to a point. Most of the solutions in their problems are external. I could see that perspective. I think that's another way to look at it too. Ingrid says, yeah, America doesn't have good schools any everywhere, and even the good schools aren't very good. Mm, what are you going to do? Izzy says, my introspection journey has made my sense of humor so morbid. Told my friends that I can't wait for sweet release of death as a joke and was met with a super awkward silence. Bro, don't even get me started, bro. Don't even get me started. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. After... Uh, teach evolution now and like protests broke out everywhere from all of the religious people wait, brother, like brother i would expect that to happen oh my obs disconnected am i still here iro in the chat guys iro in the chat around like in the at least at most in the late uh 1990s right well we so went over a freaking expect... graph showing which, oh which they that's it this is so strange like yeah i i, I how's that even possible like How's it even possible that the world doesn't live the same as me? How's it even possible that other people are doing different things? Look, I love being shocked on stream because it makes a good clip of, a, of the way people live differently from me. But guys, ultimately, I know this, right? The question is, do they know that? Like, we know it. Like, I know it. Ultimately, 
look, I would be a very bad streamer if I never even reacted at all. But if I just got on here and I was like, yeah, that makes sense. People do things differently. How boring of a stream would that be? But I know that. I know I'm doing it for stream as well. Like I'm like, ew, gross. Mom like lets her kids puke in a bowl and then she scoops it out into the trash. Disgusting. But also it's like a funny stream. I'm sharing it with you. We're having fun. But he is literally, is he actually shocked the world doesn't operate the same? Because that's how it fe- it should be like world shattering. Like you should be like, wait. If the world isn't all getting the same education level and the world isn't learning the same facts, and if Russia is very different from China, is very different from the United States, what does reality even mean? And then instead of becoming a conspiracy theorist, you should become more grounded. Like instead of becoming a conspiracy theorist that also takes on bad misinformation and adapts it into their life, you should instead be open to what is true and you should move away from what is paranoid and untrue. Wow. Okay. Anyways, like, I, I just want to say that um, rather than watching, like, the Pierce Morgan and Destiny uh, panel uh, panel show, uh, maybe watch that. But after that, watch the Finkelstein hit piece by Destiny. That's... Oh, my God, bro. This is, like, I don't know. He had lost the way um, during debates. And it's this is real funny. quick. Mobot, I think you're confused. Mantis is saying that the, like, the mistake that I made was, like, actually listening to these people or taking them seriously at whatsoever and, like, actually considering anything that they were saying. Mantis. Okay, Mantis just jumped on stream with Tom. Mantis. Yep. Hi. Hold on, yeah, we're fixing I, I her volume. Mobot's confused. I don't know what Mobot's saying. You are very quiet. <clears throat> it's on your end. I can't do anything. I am a boomer. You, you just I have to put the mic closer to your know. mouse because I have, yeah, like, if I turn... I'm sorry, Kayla said it, I don't know, it might be pretty funny if you leaned into being a five and made your shtick not being phase and pretended to be smug about being a five. <laughs> Shoot, but that'd be the new shtick. What's the, what's my, what is my saying? What's a conversation between fives? Silence. Guys, let's be real. There's not much to talk about. You're just like, oh, look, people being people. You know, but yeah, I like to explore the bubbles. I like to have fun with them. I think they're so, I love popping a bubble. I really do. Even gross bubbles, like vomit bowls. But like, I love it, you know? Ugh, okay. Maiden says, we're always adding to who we are and what we know. We are always becoming, always moving from one level to the next. It's a nature of reality. To me, it is clear as day. I think not a lot of people are experiencing that sensation in like a real way. A lot of people feel very stunted. A lot of people feel very trapped like, I also want to cover the Dr. K controversy that happened because I tweeted about it because a viral clip from Dr. K um, happened and it's like one of the most base things he's ever said. But of course, the part of the Internet that doesn't understand people in this particular way was like horrified by Dr. K's stance on people who unalive themselves. But obviously with me, like I made a video about it originally. It was so true for me as an unalive person who wants to unalive herself. And it was funny, like watching the bubbles react to him. Like the bubbles that are so terrified of unaliving that they say the exact thing to make someone want to unalive themselves. These tweets, reading these tweets made me like all my unaliving thoughts like happen again because these people have no idea and then they try to guilt you into staying alive and like that is the biggest irony of it all. The same people that don't want you to like kill yourself are the same people that want to guilt you into staying alive and they don't understand why that's not helpful. You know what I mean? So anyways, we'll probably go over that later. But Dr. K basically said that a lot of the men that he's helped who were suicidal, a lot of them didn't have any mental illnesses. They just, through a pros and cons list, came to the conclusion that killing themselves was better than living. And the people couldn't believe it. People couldn't believe that you could ever actually want to die when you have family, friends, people who love you. And I'm like, what does any of that have to do with anything? A lot of people think only people who aren't loved want to kill themselves. No. No, because you make your life, like their life about you, right? Don't kill yourself. I love you. How is that helpful? How is that helpful? Don't kill yourself. I love you. How is that helpful? See how you make it all about you? The world is so narcissistic and it wonders why some people don't want to engage with you. the stuff up then arian is gonna blast and then you'll be normal but if i don't turn it up then you're way too i'll find the twitter link so you guys can check it out and we'll check it out later baby too quiet and he's normal 
Why? Uh, okay, okay turn me up to 100. I was on 85, okay. but I'll put it back okay. to my mouth. That's okay. better. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what Mo was saying, but what you guys were saying, like, why don't you think, are you both saying you don't think there's levels to introspection? No, no, we're saying that you couldn't put an overall level to a to a person's introspection. So if you go watch Brittany's like actual video on the introspection, she does. Uh, Is he referencing my two hour video or my 30 minute video? Because my 30 minute video, obviously too many people misunderstood it. So I took it down and put up a longer video. Which video is he referencing? The entire way she talks about it is this overall level of like willingness to introspect and you having like a level of insight and to know that you can introspect. And that's what the whole thing is about. But mm -hmm. we're saying that nobody is like you can't put this overall level of introspection. You can say, hey, when it comes to like your <clears throat> your work ethic, like how introspective are you on your work ethic and how like willing are you to be critical of yourself on work ethic or how willing are you to look at the way. Absolutely. Perfectly explained for two introspection. So this is how two ins introspect. Twos, this is exactly how twos introspect. And that's not bad. That's really good. But you see how it's not what I'm talking about when I'm talking about level fives? That is exactly how twos introspect. They introspect within a circle and they go, I... And they go, how do I do when it comes to working out? How do I do when it comes to work? How does it do when it comes to other people, other bubbles? That's beautiful. That's exactly what twos are doing. The question is, what do you do past that? Then you get into introspect, uh, extrospection, introspection, which is you against existence itself. See how they're introspecting in relation to existence and then in relation to themselves? That's fine. I talk about that level twos, A's, B's, and C's. Like, like two A's, two B's, two C's. I talk about that. There are subcategories of twos for this reason, because they all introspect differently and, and within the two mechanism. But then once you get to four and five, you're extrospect, introspecting, extrospecting in relation to the globe, the world, the planet, the universe. So you're not just asking yourself a question within the mechanism of the two bubble, which is where most people are at. So yes, Tom is explaining, and I agree with him, a perfect relationship with introspection in the two bubble way that you interact with your partner and kind of judge yourself and be critical of yourself on how you guys interact? Or do you have some level of pride there that keeps you from actually taking their criticism seriously or trying to improve on yourself? Like, <clears throat> but these are all different yeah, sections all of your of life. That, that's all of right. But we're yeah, saying that think... you could give the levels to each section, but there is no overall. Okay. This is the Hassan argument men, all over again, where you can't say think... a job is overall hard. Wait, I have any... or... Go ahead. Okay. I think I get um, it. Just, you're doing. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Okay, yeah, you, you go first. You go first because then I can understand where you guys are coming from. Yeah, I think the problem is let's just say introspection and introspective person, right? We, we should separate those. I think uh, there's a level to being introspect, uh, uh, introspective, but there's no level to being an introspective person, right? For example, uh, science, in terms of like hard science and soft science, there's hard science obviously have like you need harder. Uh, threshold for evidence right or, uh, compared mm -hmm. to uh, soft sciences but scientists whoever the scientist is they can there's no like better scientists or uh, or worse scientists it's just that um what you specialize in that's like that's what being but see, a I, think, scientist. I think that's dismissive but i think that is that is dismissive because you can be a pretty introspective person like you can be sort of introspective as a person like you were saying it's just like an inherent thing almost or like that's just the type of person you are but you could be pretty bad at introspection even though you you like have the capacity and you've thought about it you can think about that sort of thing and not really know what to do with it or exactly mantis is like fucking on point right here there's so many people i know who are so smart and so capable and not introspective at all like they are introspective obviously you have to be some even children are introspective guys most people just need to be basically introspective to like make it through life they don't even need to be deeply introspective to get anywhere because there's no benefit in two bubbles to be deeply introspective because it's not for the bubbles deep introspection extrospection is not for the bubbles so if you're a person who's just trying to make it like work for yourself in the world you don't, it doesn't require you to be deeply introspective. You can be incredibly smart and not very introspective because these things are not the same thing.
not really use that introspective like knowledge that you're gained not apply it in situations and like tom what you're saying is you you should further separate it into areas of life well i think that is part of the levels it's like yeah if you've got someone who's an introspective person they're actually sitting down and figuring things out in a bunch of areas but you know they're not really succeeding in terms of applying it well then they're not as high up on the level scale and then say they're introspective then they're that's why i say fives can like fall into two bubbles again and forget themselves like if two fives are arguing in a debate like what are you even debating about bro why are you even fighting right now because you're holding on to a construct it's like you forgot the whole point of being a five because you're not actively introspecting you also have to actively introspect. It's not like, oh, you learn it, you'll always have it. It's like a language. You have to continually use it or you'll lose it, bro. Now, I think once a five, always a five. But I don't think once a five, always practicing five. I think some fives run into problems where they're in their genetics, in their trauma, in their bubble. They like forgot that the world doesn't revolve around them and their ego, right? So I think that's like what I call like you're being a two right now. But I don't mean that as an insult. I mean like you're forgetting that you're arguing a construct with me. Why are you arguing a construct with me? I don't want to debate which construct is objectively correct when it's constructs. Okay? Boring. I want to have a discussion on exploring those constructs to see what could be more interesting about them. But I don't want to argue how a subjective thing is objective, how boring. But that's what twos do. Right? That's what Tom's doing right now. He's arguing my opinion is wrong because he doesn't understand it, which is fine, right? Because my levels does not exclude this observation from them. It just excludes it outside of the two bubble because he's not extra, he doesn't even know the word extrospect. Nobody in this whole conversation even knew to use the word extrospection because nobody actually cares about introspection bubbles because society doesn't demand it of you. Society needs you to be very minimally introspective in order to be a great person in society. Obviously, would you say Trump is a very introspective person? Because he became the president of the United States. You don't need to be very introspective to become important in the world. You don't need to be very introspective to be the president, to be a great general, to be a great business leader. You only need to be introspective enough. The journey of introspection, extrospection that I'm talking about, level five, four and five, what I'm talking about is not in relation to the bubbles. It's supposed to pop you out of the bubbles and into a reality where you understand that there are bubbles and you're a part of them and you can construct them or live in one. But that's why I say it's an individual journey. It's an individual journey. So again, Tom is making a great sound. I'm not disputing anything Tom or this other guy is saying. I don't have to. I'm just saying they're explaining two bubbles and their really perception of that bubble successful in applying it but and mantis is explaining exactly what i would have said which is basically like none of these things are separate from the levels you, they're just not going deeper into it they're staying surface level which is fine and then wait for it this guy ian or whatever says something so hilarious to me oh my god i can't wait till we get there hold on only in some areas well then they're not so high up on the level system wait but we're saying that's everybody we're saying literally everybody will only be in some areas 100 percent of people will only be exactly. in some areas and okay Okay, well, hold on. Hi. It's going because that's just true. It's just like nobody is introspective across the board. So because like being a five has nothing to do with being introspective across the board, but it does have to be introspective across your consciousness because that's the point. He thinks being introspective means like being perfectly introspective at every moment at all times as if you're never still learning. So the point of getting to five, only if you need to, twos, could, twos can do this in their own way, the whole point of realizing like you're always a student and you're always learning is because humility is the key to introspection. And it's the key of saying he's talking about, oh, Brittany's saying she can be introspective when it comes to all facets of her life. You mean all facets of my consciousness? Yes, that's the goal, which will never be ending because I'll always be growing. But that's why I'm explaining a difference. There's a difference between a two and a five because they're having different relationships with their introspection of the consciousness in relation to the bubbles. So it's like, it's hilarious. They keep, they keep talking about perfectly, it's so perfectly like the two bubble. Introspection is about all these little facets of my own life and nothing to do with the individual consciousness, but themselves in relation to the thing they're doing outside of their consciousness. Extrospection. Kay says being a five is about being introspective across the board of you, not across the board of all the bubbles. Exactly. And then 
When you get to five, you have an extrospective relationship with the bubbles and understanding them to understand yourself, you know, but like not yourself to understand them, though it's a, a symbiotic relationship. Of course it is. But again, most twos try to figure out who they are because in the bubbles, not who they are in relation to the bubbles, who they are within the bubbles. Does that kind of make sense? So it's like, who is Brittany inside of this bubble? Well, she doesn't seem to exist here. Why not? Well, this bubble believes in God and Brittany doesn't. So does Brittany not exist? No. Okay, well, Brittany doesn't want to be a militant atheist against the religious bubbles. So how do I get out of this bubble? I pop out and I see myself outside the labels and only as a consciousness. And that consciousness popped all the bubbles that she had access to that made her realize like, oh, there's like an infinity of bubbles and there's like an infinity of ways to perceive the world. And there's like an infinity of ways to process information. This idea of objective is so far from us because our perception is so limited, but what a great and curious journey to try to have a relationship with it, even though I might never discover it. And that's the difference. So again, I'm not talking about being introspective in relation to whether or not I'm good at ice skating. That's a two's journey into introspection. How am I introspective in relation to God? That's the construct. The question is, who am I in relation to the universe? And then in relation to myself within the self, if all of it disappeared, if I was just a consciousness on the whole planet, who would I be? What's that relationship like? Who am I? That's why when I do calls with people and we do the introspective, like uh, um, I do this little like thought exercise with people. I'm trying to get them to see themselves as a consciousness outside of anybody else. Nobody else, no worlds, no governments, no people, no family members. I'm trying to get you to exercise this understanding of the self only in relation to the self. But usually, and they'll say it later in this conversation, people need other people to know themselves. Yes, that's why you go two to three to four. And then you get to five, which is the it's the pathway into knowing the self outside of the selves. So the two, that's why the four stage can be so difficult because you literally are trying to learn who you are outside of the bubbles. You realize, oh my God, the bubbles aren't it. So wait, who am I? So when you figure out who you are within the two bubbles, you're like, I got it. Now imagine you lose it again. Imagine you spend your whole life as a two being like, I know exactly who the fuck I am. And then you figure out, no, you actually don't because you don't even know the beginning parts of yourself because you only knew yourself within these labels that the world gave you, within the rules and the constructs of that bubble. And then, oh my God, here it goes again. Here, so when Tom left religion, he had a bubble pop. But now, what if he kept having that to such a degree that he doesn't even, he has to start again from scratch in relation to himself? That's a completely different journey than building off the person you already were from your past. Okay? You cannot but, experience <clears throat> every walk what? of Why life not? or every experience. You cannot relate yeah. to everyone. Yes, yes you're but going you're, to prioritize. You're, what you're doing is taking... Well, yes, well, of course, well, but it's within the individual's experiences that you evaluate their level of introspection. It's not within well, the context of society that you evaluate their level of introspection. Okay, but that you have to put some like value on each section of... Uh, what it is they're introspecting on, right? And then that's going to matter more or less to each person. So if I say, hey, I'm super willing to introspect on um, on like the way that I talk about things on stream so that more and more people are capable of understanding it and I'm going to be super critical of how I analyze myself and my words and then try to like uh, continuously improve on that. Um, that's just like one place that I'm introspective on. But if I'm not willing to be introspective on like how honest I'm being when I talk about things and how uh, how accurate I am when I get. This I have this. I'm a YouTuber. When I'm asking myself, could I talk differently so I can explain myself to the bubbles? That's extrospection. The question is the introspective introspection part comes from me asking myself, why aren't I doing it? And am I okay with people misunderstanding me? That's the introspection part. The extrospection part is saying, in what way should I change to better communicate with the world? Extrospection, in what way can I change to communicate to them? Existence, introspection, why aren't I changing the way I talk? And why do I have a problem doing that? Or do I have a problem doing that? Do you see how one question is for me and one question is about them? Introspection extrospection, introspection, extrospection. He's literally talking about extrospection and thinking it's introspection. Introspection would be if Tom said, hey, Tom, 
Why haven't you already changed the way you talk for other people? What's stopping you? Hey, Tom, why didn't you think about this before? Why are you now just discovering it now? Hey, Tom, like he's not asking himself. He's asking whether or not he wants to do it for other people, which is not the same kind of question, right? Okay. Um, Britt, have you heard of e uh, Earth e Eater? Theater? No, Earth Eater? Earth Eater? No, I have no idea what that is. Monet, the world cannot tell you the core of who you are. This is for you to uncover yourself. Exactly. Exactly. This information across. These are like, wh which one do you value more? Which one is it? Like the understanding from people or the honesty of the in of the message? Like, well, I think the, the whole point is not to be evaluated in terms of other people's values. It's to be it's to evaluate your right. So, so um, uh, Mantis is going to explain that's extrospection. Now the difference is introspection. She sees, so she's saying it's not about other people because it's about introspection. But now they don't get it. They don't know the difference. Self point the arrows inward and to evaluate yourself based on your own value system. So it's not up for other people to like judge you. Once exactly. you get like to a level of introspection, you stop, you stop looking outward for like validation like that. Right. That's so, yeah, I, I disagree. So you're I talking think that the only reason you talk to other people is because you're ask you're like confirming either information you have, you're sharing thoughts. We do, we do this on the discord. We share thoughts all the time. Hey, what do you guys think about this? What do you think about this? But I'm not, excuse me, oh my God, I'm burped. I'm not going to ask you about me. I already know who I am, girl. Now, I might ask if I feel like I'm having a bad mental health day, maybe. I might go to my husband and say, hey, am I acting different? Am I acting weird? Is there something about me I can't tell? And then I would only trust my farm brother and my husband, basically, to tell me if I was off. I wouldn't trust anybody else because they're the only people that can refer me back to myself in a way that feels objective slash without bias, but only within the mechanism of perception. So again, I don't need you to tell me who I am. I need you to confirm information I'm sharing with you or, or contrast that information, but that's just going to give me the tools to introspect, not you the tools to introspect me. You do not introspect me. I introspect me. You and I share information and I go home and introspect. Do you get what I'm saying? I do not introspect you. I observe you. When I'm making critical commentary about people, I'm not introspecting Tom. I am observing Tom. I am not introspecting for Tom. I am observing Tom. So I'm not in Tom's head. That's Tom's job. My job is to observe. His job is to introspect. That's Britney's, a, I think uh, that language. if you don't, you're yes, being I, I, introspective correct. within the bubble. Yes. Like, I was about to say that's own. within Britney's bubble. I think that once you get to that point, you are no longer, you're just not a very introspective person. If you think that that's true. Yeah, I that think that you have to take into consideration think, everybody else's think, perception well, uh, of you. Look, Hold on. Wrong. See, the boys are wrong. The boys are wrong. And I'm going to call it out right now because they're not having the same conversation Mantis is having. And they're not having the same conversation I'm having. Mantis is not even talking about that. We're not talking about making sure and confirming with people like, hey, did I paint this oil painting right? Or, hey, what do you think about this idea? That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about introspection. We're talking about a relationship with the self. We're talking about something that other people give us in relation. It's a tool, but ultimately people can't do it for us. It's like Tom and this guy think that other people can introspect for you, which is why we're not talking about introspection, right? They don't know what that is. They don't really know what we're saying. They, and that's why the twos fuck themselves over because the twos rely so heavily on everybody else telling them what's going on that they never feel or they never really get to know themselves outside of those bubbles. You know what I mean? Again, asking people for advice, getting people's input, checking in with people is not what we're talking about. That is just being a person who's confirming information and obser ob observations. We're observing together. Hey, did we observe this similarly? That is different than what we're talking about in terms of introspection, in terms of validating the self. You get to a point in life where you're like, no, where even your closest friends and family, right, might mistake and misunderstand you. And you're like, nope, I see how you see that, but you're wrong. And you need to know why they're wrong because you've introspected, right? Even if they don't get it, you have to know why you, it's true because you've introspected. They might observe you incorrectly because people can observe you. I can observe you incorrectly. Only you can introspect correctly or incorrectly. And you are the only person who will know outside of, hey, Brittany, do you think I'm doing this correctly? You tell me. 
That's why when you have calls with me and people are like, am I introspecting correctly about this? Usually what I'll say is you tell me. Hey, Brittany, I think I'm a five. Do you think I'm a five? You tell me. You tell me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get the sentence out. I think that you have to take into consideration everybody else's perception of you. And yeah, you have, have to, to compare to yourself to them in order to actually yes. be introspective. If you That is the beginning steps of twos. What about after that? Yes, Tom is explaining a two phenomenon. This is the basics of twos introspecting. That's why they can't get out of all the bubbles. Even though, again, all fives end up in bubbles, this is, Tom is explaining a perfect relationship with how twos have a relationship with introspection. That's why it's different than how fives do it. He is perfectly explaining a twos introspection. This is how twos introspect, by comparison and contrast. Who are just saying, well, let's just get rid of other people's perception of me and not really care about a societal view of this, then you're just not a very introspective person. What does society have to do with introspection? Why would he think that has to do with anything? Why does he think society can introspect for the individual? Introspection is an individual journey. You use information and tools around you to individually explore that information. Society does not introspect for you. Society only observes and judges you. They can give you advice. They can share wisdom. They cannot introspect for you, right? So yes, getting opinions is good, but that's not the end of the introspection. That's the beginning steps of introspection. Then you have to go on the journey of knowing the literal consciousness, you to your very depth and core, outside of the perception of society. That's why it's so hard because people are so afraid and they don't trust themselves. And that makes sense. But again, even fives seek advice from other people. They seek the wisdom of other people, but it's not because they want other people to introspect for them. It's because they need the tools to introspect themselves, right? No, no, you, I'm not saying you get rid of it and you don't like whatever. I just think that, I, I think it's, you. it's, you can be capable of popping bubbles, but I don't think you necessarily have to like operate inside of every single bubble all the time. I think that like right. understanding there are bubbles and that you can hop and that you, you have certain like places okay. in each one, or you don't want to be in any one. You're just happy to float or whatever. All of that is just like, it's still according to you. You, it, you, you can right. see things. It's like, okay. So say with your drama and stuff, like, I feel like I'm not sure I'm not operating. None of this, by the way, is operating off Britney's level system because I haven't gone through it properly and it, it would be a disservice. But I'm just trying to understand what you guys were meaning. Um, but with your stuff, Tom, I think it gets to a point where, like you were saying, you, you were introspecting and figuring out what you could say and figuring out how you could say it to get people to understand it better. And then you get to a point and you realize, well, it's just not going to be like heard probably. It doesn't matter how you say it or what you say. They're just not going to hear it. That is like a realization to come to. And then that is the introspective part would be to be like, okay, it's actually not my job in this situation to like be understood or be heard by these. these. Or you could say, okay, I'm going to introspect and say, I'm going to pop into this bubble to maybe give my audience a chance to explore, to maybe engage with it from further away. But if you're in their bubbles and you're engaging with them within the bubble, then you're, you could be still introspective. But the question is, are you in it because you think you're a part of it? Or do you know you're not a part of it and you're jumping in for a greater purpose? And then that's the question. You know what I mean? Do you think this is your life or do you understand like this isn't even real? This is like created by a group of people who are creating rumors and lies and then creating a thing out of nothing. And are you engaging in the nothing or do you know it's nothing? And you're like, you know what I mean? Then if you know it's nothing and this is how this group of people operate, then it's up to you whether or not you still want to engage with it. You can do that, but you got to know why you're engaging with it, right? That's a form of introspection. Why are you engaging with it? What makes you want to do it? What makes you want to take their thoughts into consideration? And again, the levels, eventually when you're four or five, you're popping out of introspection into introspection, extrospection. So yourself against existence, which is even bigger, right? It's people, like, like sure. you, you can stop. Like the introspective part would be being able to detach yourself, like not having that like toxic attachment to trying to get people who aren't willing to hear you to hear you. The like introspective part would be like, okay, I'm not, I don't really care. I'm very aware that this is bad faith. And so like, I am willing to detach from like their validation or their, like them understanding me.
Okay. I don't know if that has as much to do with introspection, but... The, I don't yeah, feel like, like that's introspection. That's just... Feel, Wait, it that's, feels well, like... have you guys heard of attachment theory? <clears throat> so, again, they're like, I don't think that has anything to do with introspection because they're not thinking of themselves as the consciousness in charge of their life. They're thinking of themselves reacting to other people judging them. Do you want to be in charge of your life or do you want to only understand your life through how other people observe you? Um, I don't know. Can you describe what, what it? Is, what is attachment? So theory? like the way that you, um, it's kind of like the way that you, your interpersonal like attachment to things or it, it can be like emotional or like with, with people. So this is mental health. Attachment theory is mental health, right? Mental health in like categorization for development through childhood or i don't really know how to describe so it's a specific bubble and like it's really helpful we talked about attachment theory a little bit on the vc recently but let me look it up how they actually say it it's defined but it says according to john Felby and mary ainsworth infants prog uh, progress through various stages of attachment there are four stages of patient infant attachment which hold on chrissy says when you uh into extra spec is it without judgment of the self extra extraspection is about existence, things outside of the self in relation to the self. Introspection is the self in relation to the self. Why do I do this? Versus why do they do this? Right? It's like you're observing them versus observing yourself. Think about it that way. You know what I mean? Monkey D. Trevi says, Brittany, can you create a five? No. Like, do you mean can you have a child and raise it to be a five? No. The child still has to make the decision to go on the journey. It has nothing to do with you. Like you can't force a kid to be a five. Which include uh, undiscriminating social responsiveness, uh, discriminating social responsiveness, active proximity seeking behavior, and goal corrected partnership. Yeah, so it's a very interpersonal and emotional, mental, psychological stuff. But like this can be if if you're like an introspective person and you want to go deeper into introspection, you might look into oh, okay, what attachment style am I? Maybe you think this is all pseudoscience crap. I don't. I think it's pretty, um, pretty. Are you talking about understanding design? yourself better? Look, I love categorization systems. So the levels is a categorization system, and when people say you can't categorize people's introspection, like that's not true. That's just not true. You can. Because a, a a categorization system is a construct based off of perimeters. And I put down perimeters for what I qualify the levels. And then that creates the level. So obviously that's not true. So you when they say like you can't level someone's introspection, sure you can. It's a, it's a diagram and you land here or there on the diagram. Because the perimeters are constructs. I made the perimeters. And the perimeter, again, the levels are a living entity. I haven't written it down. Because it's like a living thing and I'm always adding to it. But I'm happy to have the discussion to see where somebody could land. Right? But again, the idea that you can't categorize people is so funny to me. As if our whole world, our whole universe isn't built off categorization. Is Pluto a planet? No. Why? Because it doesn't fit the criteria anymore. It moved categories. Everything is categorizable. We do it all the time. Isn't Tom a man and I'm a woman? If we're talking about binary genders, is that not a category? Hello? MM says, how well can someone accurately observe introspection? Now, that is a good question. Mm. Um, It depends. So it depends, right? That's why when people ask me, like, can you actually tell if somebody's a five by watching them? Ah, that's really difficult because it's hard to observe introspection. So it's more like I can take an educated guess that I think this might be true of this person. It's much easier to tell what a two is than what a one or a five is. Funny enough, because ones just, or twos fit so perfectly in the category. Um, wait, it's much easier to tell, yeah, what a two is versus a one or a five. Ones and fives are really hard to observe and categorize because there's so much that goes into it. Like so many questions have to be asked. Twos are really easy to spot. One, it's most people. And two, it's very easy by just listening to them. But minimally, you're most likely a two. Maybe, probably not, you might be a one, but probably not. And then maybe be a five, but I wouldn't know unless I talked to you for a long time. And we had lots of conversations. I've mislabeled fives. 
I've thought I've met people that I'm like, I think you might be a five. And I'm like, oh, you are not a five. What are you doing? You're having like the weirdest. What are you doing? Like that's been interesting. That's been a really that's why I stopped leveling people unless we've had lots of lots of discussions and we've had and you're open to the fact that I could be wrong on leveling you because, again, you have to tell me. Right. Right. Um, OK. Um, so great question. Great question. Kayla says, uh, Brittany said once can't on the live. Hold on, guys. Don't black and white the thinking. It's not that ones can't unalive themselves. They just most likely wouldn't, but they could. Don't black and white the levels because I haven't met every single one on the planet. There's 8 billion people on the planet in case you guys don't know that. So again, fives can absolutely choose to, to kill themselves because anyone can choose to live and die how they want. People choose to kill themselves every day and they just disguise it as smoking or eating badly or, you know, not eating at all. Okay. So Balto says, do you personally know a person of each level? Yes, that's how we ended up creating the level system. So my co-author and I, the reason we came up with the levels we did is we identified groups of people in our lives, brought like them together as a categorization system and said, OK, like who do we know who could fit into like first we came up with the type of person. And we came up with five distinct categories of types of introspection levels and we focused on those. So if there's more categories after five, I don't care. My focus is on this, okay? So from beginning to five, whatever that means, and then it, realizing it's more like a circle or realizing people have different relationships with it. But we we gave each level, uh, we identified them with people that we knew. Because we when we made the levels originally, we had what, twos, fours, and fives. And then we were like, well, what about, like, we know a person who's like more of a three, and then we know a person who's a one. So we're like, where do they go? So then we created one, two, three, four, five. And my co-author did want to give the levels like cool names, but I was like, I'll never remember them. We have to do numbers, which is true. I'm not going to remember our fucking like the names. I just make them numbers. But then, of course, everyone gets pissy about the numbers as if they mean anything. It just means Brittany has bad memory. But no one believes that because everyone thinks I'm like secretly like malicious when I'm just like a curious like neurodivergent girl who likes categorizing people. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Twos are so twos. Twos scream at me that they're twos. You must have some malicious intent involved in this numbering system of yours. No. But the fact that you don't know that tells me you're a two. Is your co-author a five? No. No, they're a four trying to be a two sort of. Sort of. They're kind of like on a different part of their journey right now. I don't want to speak too much for them, but they're not a five yet. I think soon though. I think soon. We were both fours when we wrote the levels. You know what I mean? Um, Allison says, what would a one sound like roughly to you in relation to introspection, extrospection? Ones are people that are like, I use the word useless because for my brain, that word means a specific thing, but you might use a different synonym, like some different word for that. So for me, ones are people that are useless to themselves and their communities at the same time. At the same time. Most of us go through our life being useless to ourselves or other people or being useful to both. Fives aren't like, if you're useful to yourself in your community, you're not a five. You're just like a functioning person. But ones are usually often useless to themselves and their communities at the same time, right? Which is different and specific to ones. But the opposite of one is not a five. The opposite of one is maybe a two, but like there's no opposite, right? There's no opposites in the level system. That's not how I'm thinking about it, right? Because it's not, it's not like that. You know what I mean? That's like. Yes. And then it, it affects yeah. how you interact with other people. If you can understand like yourself better and what like, and then th if you can do that to like a really deep level, then you can actually understand other people a little bit better. Hold on, hold on. Kayla says, so drinking poison and laying down to die won't exclude me from one. I thought it would meant I was probably a two or a four. No, it's the why. Why are you doing that? It's not what you're doing, guys, that tells me your level system. It's why you're doing it. It's not, it's not that you are doing it. It's why are you doing it? It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not what you're doing. I don't care what you're doing. I care why you are doing it. Why are you doing it? Why? Okay. Trip says, what about the guy from the movie Free Guy? The Ryan Reynolds movie? I don't remember it. I only saw it once. I don't, I don't remember anything about it. You know when it's yes. like 
worth atta- that's, worth getting attached I, to things, worth detaching yeah, th- from things, well, worth. You know? But that's where that's where the value part comes in. That's what I'm talking about. Is like once we add in values, it gets it gets very subjective. If I'm, um, yes, but everything is rather subjective. I think like that's fine. Hold on. It is. Hold on. Um, it, it, at the point where it comes to where I'm like deciding whether or not I want a group of people to understand me, that's just like goal oriented. That just has to do with like what my uh, what it is that I'm trying to achieve is. But that's not as much about like introspection, because if my goal is to get them to understanding me, there there is like a level of introspection that that would take to try to like understand where the separation is between them and me. And then. No, the separation between you and them is extrospection. Your ability to decide why you are making this effort is introspection. Introspection has nothing to do with why they're doing what they're doing. It has to do with why you're doing what you're doing. What it is that they want out of this versus what I want out of this and then trying to find some middle ground to get that to make sense. It's not like introspection to say, oh, I've introspected enough to realize that they're all just too retarded to get it and they're just not worth my time. Like that's, yeah, that's going to be more like goal oriented. Um... Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Like evaluating what I, I think it's just asking the why's like, it's not just what's my goal in this. It's like, okay, why is that my goal? Introspection is asking why. So it's like, okay, what do I want? Exactly. But why do I want that? Like, why do I want exactly, to validate Mantis. people? Who exactly, Mantis. Why? Aren't really going to validate me in the way that I really need it or that they are even really capable of. It's not just what you want. It's absolutely a why. If all of introspection yeah, is, part is of just it. why, 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 why? No, it's not a part of it. It is the foundation. And also the whole subjective, objective thing, like when it comes to it, like interpersonal interactions, social interactions, emotional, mental, psychological, anything, all of, like, I don't think there's a lot of objectivity. I think it is subjectivity that you're kind of talking about, even though people like to categorize things and try and find the objective truth to everything. I, I think that those conversations go so poorly because it's just not really that possible. And if you Exactly. St- even when I level someone, I don't know that for a fact. I'm not inside their brain. Unless I've talked to them, unless I've, and again, Even if I labeled you a five, so you still have to actively practice introspection. Otherwise, you could be like if you're okay. if you're a five who gets brain damage, like your ability to introspect might be threatened or compromised. If you're in a coma, who cares if you're a five girl, you're in a coma. Okay, it doesn't matter now. Now you have to reevaluate. What if you come out of that coma with amnesia? Well, you're not a five. You have no memory of your introspection journey. Okay, if a five gets amnesia, you're not a five anymore, bro. Okay, so now you have to re-examine your whole self again. It's not like once a five, always a five. There are things that play into challenging your introspection. What if you just don't utilize the tool? Like if somebody comes and yells at me over something, what if like, okay, if a five came to me and was like, Brittany, you're wrong. Red is not the best color. I'd be like, what? They're like, red is not the best color. Black is. I'd be like, Okay, I like black too, but red's like my favorite color. So by the way, red's not literally my favorite color. This is just an example. And I said, well, I feel like red is a really good color. They're like, you're absolutely incorrect. And then I said, why are we talking about this? Who cares? It's just colors, bro. It doesn't fucking matter. Nothing matters. What are you doing? Why are we arguing about this? Well, I just wanted something to talk about. Okay, well, we could just share ideas or we could like explore concepts. But if another five picks a literal fight with me over like, whether or not black is a better color than red, they could just be going through a trauma moment. They could be like tired. If they're genuinely like not dropping the fight because they're like like in a looping cycle, that's mental health. Fives can be could succumb to their mental health, right? So if they were like, oh yeah, like none of this matters. I just thought it'd be fun to have this conversation. That's different. But if the five is looping because of mental health and they've been triggered by something, and they keep heart, like they keep literally not dropping it. They're like, no, like this is what's true. That's not them introspecting or being extrospective. That is them looping because of their mo- fucking mental health. You know what I mean? So fives are genetic, like little biological creatures that do get triggered, that do have problems. You guys saw me. How embarrassing, but not embarrassing because it's what people do. I got triggered and I called into Destiny's show. And even though my arguments were fucking valid as shit, and I still stand by my, my arguments, the way I expressed those arguments was in middle of a trigger. So the trigger made it all warped. Everyone misunderstood me. Nobody like understood, everyone miscommunicated. It was a whole mess. But I'm still a five who got fucking triggered because of her PTSD. And people heard that. 
and they can't understand the difference between triggered Britney and like Britney who's like not in her mental health. I'm still a five. I just got lost in my trigger because like I'm still a genetic biological creature that like will succumb. That's why I apologize. That's why I DM'd people. That's why I talk about it now because like I'm living exam. I'm a living example of my work. I'm saying, yeah, here I was in my trauma, but my argument though I stand by it, wasn't expressed in the best way because I was looping on what and how it sounded. So let me recontextualize it again. And of course, I never got a chance to recontextualize that conversation in many ways. But of course, I've been very consistent with how I've expressed my views on essay and other things. So again, like you are a biological creature. Introspection is not so powerful as to deny your biological triggers. You know what I mean? Brittany, did you get triggered? This was last year, guys. This was last year. Remember when I got PTSD triggered on stream? I called into Destiny, remember? It was a whole mess. And people misunderstand it to this day. They do not understand my perspective on essay at all. Like people kept trying to tell me like my idea, my ideas I stand by, okay? My idea I stand by. The way I expressed it was inappropriate because I was triggered. But I always stand by my ideas. You know I do, girl. I'm consistent, okay? So again, I'm a biological creature. I will make mistakes. But obviously, I'm not engaging with my five brain when I'm triggered because I'm triggered. Now, I have noticed that depending on like um, certain kinds of triggers, I can introspect long enough not to make decisions, right? I can say like, hey, don't do this and sit down. You're having like a moment. Like I've definitely had like um, fibro or neurodivergent breakdowns where I'm like, no. Your body's in pain. You're fine. Don't stream today. Like I was going to stream the other night uh, when Wick was having his panel, but I had to cancel because I was feeling really sick. And I knew if I got on that panel, I would make a mistake because I was too, my pain was so bad that day. I was like in such a weird place that I was like introspective enough in that moment to say, you cannot stream tonight. If you stream tonight, you'll say things you don't mean because you're in so much pain that like, you're just like, you're not thinking. You can't, your brain fog is too bad tonight. So I was sick that night. I felt much better the next day, but I'm so proud of myself for calling in sick that day because a part of my brain was like, I can't believe you're like canceling, right? Like, I can't believe you're canceling. And I was like, you have to cancel. If you don't cancel, you're going to have another like just mishap for no reason during work because this is work to me. You know what I mean? So I'm glad I can introspect through a lot of my moments. That one time my introspection wasn't fast enough. I was too lost in the sauce, bros. But here I am to tell you that's okay. No big deal. We're all going to die. It's no big deal. You know what I mean? Allison says the trigger is not a reflection of your, your relationship with introspection, extrospection. No, because triggers are medical issues. So when I use the word trigger, I mean a medical issue. I'm talking about something that's not within your... Uh, I'm not talking about like emotional triggers. I'm talking about a medical issue, right? That's totally different. Your PTSD getting triggered is like totally fucking different than you getting upset during a conversation. So when I say trigger, I mean medically triggered. Maybe I should start saying that. Did somebody, do you guys think I mean something else? Obviously I'm talking about medical triggered. I'm not talking about like, oh, I got upset during a conversation. Like that's just humans being humans, like having emotions and being like, I can catch myself during those. That's my introspection. Obviously, introspection in relation to just getting upset, that's introspection. But medical triggers, um, I'm not at the point right now where I can stop my PTSD trigger once it's started. I can't stop it. I'm not there yet. Um, I was able to with some observe myself like I understood mid call with destiny that I was in the middle of it and I should hang up so I did hang up and I called my partner and I was like oh my god I'm fucking triggered and I just called into stream and he was like it's okay and I was like no oh my god I'm like I can't believe I did that so I knew at the moment that I was triggered when I hung up and I called my partner and I was like I fucked up I think I'm triggered like I think I'm PTSD triggered and so like it was a big deal to me like it was a big deal to me but that's medical triggered is different right that's like a different that's a different beast, right? You know, agent says, how do you stop it? Well, okay, again, I just, for clarification, I feel like we're having a miscommunication with language here, right? Um, triggered medically is different than the internet's word of using like triggered as in very upset. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys are agreeing. People are using trigger differently. So when they hear me say I got triggered, I hope you know I meant medically triggered. Medically triggered. That's why it was such a big deal for me. In the other instances of discussion, we were just having a principled disagreement. I was not triggered, right? But like if I find myself getting upset over a conversation, I can introspect and be like, you know what? I'm taking this too seriously. My bad, bro. Opinions are opinions. Tell me again what your opinion is, right? But like medical trigger to me is like your brain switches and you're lost in the sauce. And if you're lucky, you can tell yourself, calm down, you're lost in the sauce. Like with my borderline triggers, I got them to the point where I knew I was triggered and I could not do anything about it. I could be like, just chill at home, girl. You're fine. I can't stop it necessarily, but I can be like, you're good. Don't do anything right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, medical triggered. What is your strat to stop it? I don't. I Okay, so with the PTSD trigger, I don't yet know yet. I'm still working on that. With the borderline trigger, pretty easily. So, okay, it doesn't stop, but it it's sl- it, it goes away faster. So at the so my borderline's been in remission for remission for like four years, right? Okay, so I've been in it for four years. Um, oh hold on, Brianna says genuine question: Does your medical trigger cause splitting for you? Not the PTSD trigger. So my P these are two different diagnoses. The PTSD trigger has nothing to do with my borderline. My borderline is completely separate. My PTSD trigger happened in my early 20s. My borderline happened in my my young, my my childhood. So they're totally different diagnosis, totally different issues, totally not related, okay? So my PTSD is not related to my borderline. So when I experience uh, splitting, it happened with my borderline more than my PTSD. Again, when I had my PTSD trigger and I called into Destiny Stream, I really don't think my ideas were wrong, the way I was expressing my ideas. So when people kept coming to me and saying like, your opinion is wrong, you can have that opinion, but my opinion wasn't wrong because I was triggered. The way I expressed myself, we have a principled difference. I have no problem with the consciousness destiny or Stephen Bonnell. I have no problem with the consciousness because he's just a person on a journey. I have a principled disagreement with him in which he has chosen not to engage with me over it, not the rape conversation, something else, which is fine. The rape conversation, as far as I'm concerned, him and I already talked about that. We're good on that. We're good on that as far as I'm concerned because we squashed the beef on that. The principled issue I have is the difference of opinion and being able to exist in the same space together without like, with with, it's it's not important. What's important is that these things are different. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mr. Pinello, Mr. Pinello, Mr. Pinello, please, Mr. Pinello. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyways, okay. So I do not stop a medical trigger. I only have a better relationship with it. So when my borderline was triggered a few years ago or when my PTSD was triggered, I can stop myself enough to say, hey, you're being fucking triggered versus before I didn't even know I was being triggered. I thought it was just who I was. I didn't even know I was being medically triggered. I thought I was just being a part of myself. Now when I'm medically triggered, I can say to myself, that's not who you are, but your brain is going into protective mode and it's lashing out to protect itself. You need to tell it you're safe. So now I can introspect enough to tell myself, calm down, which is why I got off the phone with Steven because I was like, fuck, I'm triggered. I got off the phone with Steven. I called my partner. I settled myself down. I said, you're fucking triggered right now. You need to write this the way out. Like you need to write it out, right? So that was my bad, which I apologize for. I DM'd him, the whole thing. We're fine. We squashed that beef. I was triggered. But now I'm realizing, I mean medically triggered. I don't know if he even understood that. I was medically triggered. I wasn't like internet triggered. I was medically triggered. That's why I don't understand why that space punishes people for being medically triggered. You know, they they can't help it. It's like, it's a part of their brain. So like, uh, again, I want to specify medically triggered is something you can only introspect enough to know what's happening, but you can't stop it as far as I know. It's not like you stop it. It's more like you ride the wave out and you understand it's happening so you don't self-harm or you don't hurt other people or you explain to them, hey, bro, I'm so sorry. I'm triggered. My bad. I'm so sorry. I'm triggered. I didn't even, medically triggered. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's keep going. 
start yeah, to but see I think that, that there's like really a- that possible. You can understand a lot more why people do the things they do, why they like say behave. Yeah, but there's behave, there's a reasonable level to this as well. Like we, it, it, it just being subjective in and of itself isn't <clears throat> doesn't say much because when we're saying like. If somebody's saying, oh, I've introspected on this and actually I don't think that I want to be an honest person. I don't want to tell the truth. I think I'm better off just lying to everybody and getting them to bend to my will. I I think most of us would look at that person and say, oh, yeah, that's just not a very introspective person. Moralizing introspection is very complicated. This is a very complicated subject matter. Would a person who's a five be a morally upstanding person? I think, again, five is about introspection, extrospection. And I don't think fives are people who overall are like more violent. I think they are, if anything, less violent, but only because it's more efficient. Not because they're morally superior, right? So I don't think being a five makes you morally superior or technically a specific way. Like I don't think being a five means um, you won't lie or deceive people. I don't think being a five means you won't manipulate people. I don't think being a five means anything. Except your understanding in relationship with introspection, extrospection. So I disagree that a more introspective person wouldn't lie. I think more introspective person would know why they are lying. And I think that's the difference here. I would say it's amoral because morals are constructs created by perception. And that's really hard to realize. Like all of us are living within a perception of morality that is subjective to the consciousness. Right? So, um, yeah. Trip says a narcissist could be a five, right? Do you mean somebody diagnosed with NPD? I assume an individual diagnosed with MPD could be a narcissist. Can fives be narcissistic? I don't think fives could be narcissistic in a bad way. So humility is key to five. A real sense of humility right? A real sense of humility because you have to understand you don't know anything. But fives can get lost in their ego and they can get lost in like, I have high AQ and I'm very smart and little, little, little bit. And they can get lost in their humanness. But if you're actively introspecting, I don't think you can be narcissistic because you're actually practicing letting go of the ego to allow yourself to be open to the observation, So again, I think like when you're thinking about introspection, you can be somebody with the medical diagnosis NPD, but I don't think being a five and practicing introspection has a relationship with narcissism, which is like this ego within all of us. All of us exist in narcissism outside of NPD. So for clarification for words, guys, okay, NPD is different than narcissism, though those things can be used the same way in different bubbles, okay? So I think that that's something to remember. So I love the idea that if a person is introspective, they're going to be, quote, a good person. But a good person is a subjective perception of morality that you're putting on someone, i.e. a bubble. Right? Tripp says, when I think about your level system, I don't think of morality really in any way, honestly. And you shouldn't, truthfully. The morality plays into the consciousness. So morality plays into your individual relationship Hey, what do I really think about the world? Where are my morals? Where do I come and go? Where is this like relationship with morality? But in general, the levels don't express morality. That's why when people are always trying to say like, oh, who's going to be in which bubble? I don't know. You know what I mean? Um, Manoir says, would you think it's reasonable to remove someone from your life that is triggering you, even if it doesn't seem reasonable to them? Yes. Boundaries. Boundaries are for you ultimatums are for them. This is another thing Tom and I disagree on, even though it's a bubble difference. Boundaries are for you. Ultimatums are for them. Hey, I would really love to hang out with you, but I notice I get triggered. So because of that, I'm going to remove myself. And then if your friend goes, well, hey, I want to be myself, even if it triggers you, you can go, okay, cool. But if you keep doing that, I got to leave. Versus you saying, hey, you better stop triggering me so I can hang out with you. That's an ultimatum. Hey, You need to stop being yourself so I don't get triggered. That's an ultimatum saying, if you don't do that, I'll leave. But a boundary is like, hey, I like you the way you are. Technically, you have the right to be that way. Or maybe I don't like the way you are, but you still have the right to be that way. So I'm going to let you do your life. I'm going to go over here. Boundaries are what you'll do for yourself. They're rules you put on yourself. Okay. Ultimatums are rules you put on other people. 
Okay, that's the way I use it because that's the way I was taught about it in the mental health bubble. That's the way I think is like the best way to use those words when we're talking about how to explain boundaries to people. So again, you can't go to your friend and say, I have boundaries. You should say, hey, like, just so you know, I need to do this for me. It's not about you. Again, you, everyone keeps making their life about other people. It should be about you. I remember I was dating a guy. And I said, hey, I would like to date a person who's like this. Are you like this? And he's like, I can be like that. I was like, no, no, no. Are you like this? Because I need somebody who's like this. And he's like, well, I can become that. And I said, no, it's not something you become. It's are you like this? Is this who you are? Are you in this category? And he goes, well, for you, I could be. <laughs> no. I'm asking you if you are this kind of person. And he couldn't do it. Because his whole identity was about what other people wanted of him. He couldn't even introspect enough to think like, who am I? Introspection is about you, your relationship with your consciousness. Extrospection is about the relationship you have outside of yourself. Okay? Harmony says, so you can be a five with shitty morals as long as you understand the why of what you're doing? Yes. And remember, shitty is subjective based off your perception. I absolutely. That's why I'm saying it doesn't matter if you're a five, we're still going to fucking fight because I hate your fucking morals. But also like peace and love, bro. Who cares? Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. But those morals are constructs created by the consciousness, which creates the conflict, which creates the deviation. As long as you know why you're doing that. But if you in any way, shape, or form think the world would be better if they were like you or my morals are the best for 8 billion people, you're lost in the sauce. You might be a five who's thinking like a two or you might just be a two who thinks they're a two because like that's what twos do, right? They think they have like the answer for 8 billion people versus I think it's like personally Brittany's bubble. I think it's so much more nuanced than that. I don't think I have the answer, but if I was going to categorize it into healthy or unhealthy, I think certain actions are associated with healthy. Well, certain actions aren't, but it's not the lifestyles that are necessarily unhealthy. It's the actions associated with X lifestyles. Like I think fucking 20 people a night might be unhealthy. I'm pretty sure it's always unhealthy, but it's not the fucking multiple people a night that's unhealthy. It's the number of people. It's why you're doing it. It's where you find yourself doing it just for your own physicality. Why are we fucking 20 people a night? Okay. Um... Okay. There's a level of reasonability to what it is that's introspective and um, into what we would call more versus less introspection. Whereas like in this case, getting specific groups to understand you isn't going to be more or less introspection. That's just going to be goal oriented. Well, it's going to be extrospective. P.S. Um, to this point that Tom made about like you would think they would be better people. That's why people don't understand um, the conversation about open-mindedness or the question about introspection, because they think like, well, if you're introspective, like my mom and dad will say, if you were more introspective, you'd, you'd pick God. What does introspection have to do with God? It has to do with your relationship with God. But if you're an atheist, what relationship are you having with God? Hopefully none, but some atheists do have a relationship with God. And then you could be like a Peterson who says like, there's no such thing as an atheist because everybody has a relationship with God. You just call it different things. And then it's your job to decide, do I have a relationship with God? Not for other people to tell you you do. They're observing you. But for you to know in your internal consciousness, what is my relationship with God? And then to be honest with that. The reason, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to brag about my husband. The reason I am in love with my husband is because like we will talk so openly and bluntly about our own boundaries, introspection, extros extrospection, like he will share with me a thought he is having. And he's like, I've been really pondering this. And I'm like, ponder. And we'll be talking. And it's just how honest he is, how like knowledgeable he is about himself that I find so attractive about him. It's not the information he knows about the world. It's how much he knows himself that I think is so attractive about him. Because most people don't know enough about themselves in any way to be like, to make me feel comfortable almost to the extent in which I interact with them. Like that's kind of like a silly way to phrase it. But you know what I'm saying? In terms of who I was going to marry, 
It would have to be somebody who had a very good understanding of themselves. And when I listen to my husband talk about himself, I'm like, oh my God, you're so self-aware. I'm going to gag. Like, it's so good. When I see someone being introspective about themselves, every part of me lights up because I'm like, oh my God. Like, I can just tell the difference between somebody who's actually introspective about themselves and somebody who is openly admitting that they're not going to engage in this belief system. They're not going to actually like challenge their belief system because it will ruin their kind of, they'll repeat patterns. They find themselves in the same lifestyle. They same, find themselves around the same kinds of toxic people. They think they've been introspective. They think they've changed, but they just painted over the mold in the house. I want somebody who cleans out the mold and puts brand new walls in the house, right? Because they realize there's mold. Most people see the mold in their home and they just paint over it. And that's fine, but it's not interesting for a partnership. So one of the most attractive things about my partner is literally what he knows about himself. It's amazing with humility and with deep understanding, not narcissistic understanding of the self. That's not attractive. Who want, Who the fuck wants a narcissistic person? Probably people with trauma. Okay, I don't want somebody who has a narcissistic understanding of themselves. I want somebody who has an understanding of themselves in, in a humble way who knows their like faults and what they're working on, but also is like amazed at their own wonderment of life. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, because you've just reduced it to like getting groups to understand you. Yes. Well, that's but, what like, you're talking like about. You're, you're, you're just, you're just, you're just staying about. shallow and not going any deeper. You're just in order, like, yeah, you're making it goal oriented and you're making like it all about like getting people to listen to exactly. you. Exactly. That's staying no, You're shallow. making it goal oriented. Whereas I'm saying, regardless of who it is, I'm normally going to have some level of introspection to try to figure out where the disconnect is and try to understand. Yes, but that's extrospection. That's not introspection because the introspection would be something different, but that's fair. Um, what if the mold, what if you see the mold, but you choose not to do anything with it? I mean, you could either be a two or a one, or you could know it's there, but you're not ready to tackle it yet. Some things take time. So you could even be a five that sees the mold. That's like, I'm going to get to that when I'm ready, but I need to get to that. You know, you could have that kind of relationship with the mold. You know, but the mold is like a representation of like your ability to, you know, understand that it's there and you have to take it away. And the question is, is like what's stopping you from removing the mold, right? That's the question. What is stopping you from removing the black mold from your walls? And that's going back to what Mantis is trying to tell Tom is the why. Why aren't you removing the mold from your home? Why are you taking your time? Why are you just covering it up with paint? Oh, why don't you just remove it? Why are you having a hard time doing it? Why, 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 why? Ding, 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 ding. Now a two could find out the why and remove the mold and still not be a five. And that's the thing. People keep thinking, well, if I just remove the mold, I'll be a five. That's the first step. The two has to acknowledge the mold and get rid of it and then keep practicing that same habitual habit in, in deeper and deeper and deeper, 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 deeper ways. You know? Fishy says, sometimes it takes time to truly remove the mold. Exactly. Time is your best friend. Why there is a, that level of separation. Like the, but you're saying, well, no, the mistake was trying to get them to understand in the first place because they're already not worth it. That's goal oriented. Whereas introspection like would be like, oh, regardless of who it is, I'm going to try to figure out why there's that disconnect in the first place. Yeah. And but it, if it was true introspection, it's just looking at you. It's not necessarily looking at another person and, and, and it's me, out my actions it's and just... why it is that they have a level of disconnect. It's both. Yes. No. Well, extrospection, introspection, once again. Yes. Yeah, I, I'm not saying like what like that you can't do all of the above steps and like look at how you're communicating and change the way you're commu communicating because you think there's like room for improvement or you think you could have done something better. Of course, that's li literally what it is. I'm just hold on. Cognitive dissonance says if it was a if it was a woman, if a woman was not comfortable, you would call it a boundary. That's a different context. So have boundaries with people is a different context than putting a boundary on the self. So these are different bubble speaks. So if I'm sitting there in public and it's like, hey have good boundaries with people. That means like put a boundary. That's a different context to the conversation happening. Like these are all the same words we use for many things like love. Love means many things. It's like, that's why you have to have an agreement about like what we're talking about and what context we're using the words. Saying like, 
it, of course it gets to a point where you're like, okay, well, I feel like I've done my best here. I've done my best here. or I've done at least like enough for it to be received in, in a way that's not like dishonest. I, yes, I feel but that's like what I, blah, blah, that's blah, what blah. I said. And then that's, that's when I you said. like learn where the boundaries are and you step away. Yeah. That's, that's what, what I said is oh. that like, I had to like actually like second guess myself throughout this and try to figure out what it was that I was doing that was making this so hard for other people to understand. And then I had to come to the conclusion that yes. Oh, Sorry, cognitive. I think I jumped into a conversation that I was not a part of. Never mind. If you're talking about Jonah Hill, I have no idea what you're talking about. There just was no getting through to these people because they don't want to understand. They're not trying to understand. Mm -hmm. And that's where the disconnect was. That's what I said. But then you said that that's where you made a mistake in the first place was trying to figure out how they could understand. I well, like I just, confused. I just saw it. No, I just saw it. I saw it faster than you, I suppose. That's no, no, I feel, I'm so confused. Like I, the moment, like uh, Mentis described introspection, like focusing on yourself like i agreed with her and i don't know why tom tom is like also saying the same thing but in a different way i'm like we're talking about yeah, something like, else at this point <laughs> you're talking about extrospection that's why <laughs> yeah this is different but um yeah no i i think the mo mostly the reason i jumped in was because i i didn't understand like you're saying well they're introspective in this area but not that area and then i didn't really understand what you mean by well then it's just a values thing and where you place the value in your Priority yes, because values. it's a hierarchy. You're listing these people yes. one, two, three, four, and five based on a hierarchy. And so you have to move up the hierarchy based on some section that they're introspective on that you think that section is more important than the others. But it's not the sections. It's the overall relationship with existence and existing. So Tom is thinking it has to do with sections of introspection. It has to do with groupings of introspection. So completely different categories of introspection, right? So he's not, he's in the two bubble, you would pay attention to the categories, prioritizing introspection. But as a five, you're, you're switching categories of introspection. You're going from the micro to the macro, the micro to the macro, okay? So he's right, the levels, is not about who can introspect better when it comes to politics and ice skating. The levels is who's introspecting and having a relationship with themselves and existence and to what capacity are they having it? And then everything else is subjective. No one's journey looks the same, but the way you have the conversations will change. The way you're having the introspection or the extrospection will change. So he is again, once again, describing perfectly the two bubble and how the two bubble is taught to introspect. And I'm saying there's something after that. You don't have to do it. But just so you know, if you still feel like this isn't enough, there's something else after you learn how to introspect on the different facets of your personal life. There's also something after that. And so, no, I don't think that's how it works. This uh, I didn't think that was how, uh, I might be wrong, but I didn't think that was how, I don't think, I, I she understand never was, it she labeling never it. Hang on, hang on. Sections like that. So she, well, I do get into sections like that. You just don't watch my levels videos. She do, it on. doesn't work like that. You're correct. And I'm saying that, that, that it's literally impossible the way that she explains it to just have this overall introspective level unless you are sectioning it off and then putting values on specific sections of introspection. In I mean, I literally do do that, but also not in the way that he's saying because it's not about sections of introspection. It's about completely different categories. Valuing them more than the other sections. Well, I don't know if it's about sections or if it's about the depth because you, like that. Exactly, Mantis. That's the point that I'm making. I don't see it as like level one, two, three, four. I just see it as like the breadth and like depth of your your ability to introspect. Because right, guys, the difference between boundaries and ultimatums is boundaries exist outside of other people. Ultimatums only exist with people. You have a boundary for yourself. I know that if I, I, you put down boundaries for yourself. Just like introspection and extrospection, introspection's for you, extrospection's about other people. Boundaries are for you, ultimatums are for other people. You can have a boundary you put on yourself that, that involves alcohol. That has nothing to do with other people. That's a boundary you put down for yourself. I don't drink more than five drinks a night. That's a boundary I have with myself. That's why boundaries don't need other people to exist, but ultimatums do. So like I said, you can be introspective, but you can be pretty like new to introspection where you've really only just started figuring out like this one thing and you're like, I don't know. It's just like, it, I don't see it as like a tier list, even though maybe the labeling 
like makes it sound like that. I see it more as like the the depth and breadth of your like ability to introspect in a load of different situations across the board in various ways in various like areas of life. Mm -hmm. Whereas like yeah, like you say, if you're just the kind of person who's like, oh yeah, I, I'm okay at introspection in this area, but like not in other areas of my life, then you'd just be not as high of a level. Do, do you get what I see it more as like a, a moving like deeper and outward? Don't think of it as the highest level or lowest level. Just think of it as a different category of level. You're just in a different category. We're talking about completely different things. Right? That's just what it is. As opposed to like. I mean, up. the fact that they can't even regurgitate what the levels are. Like Tom or this guy Ian, both of them cannot actually explain what the levels are. They're both saying completely incorrect things about the levels because they only understand level two. Hold on, I can't. Even, I haven't even gone to my best part yet. There's the funniest part comes up soon. It's not even there yet. Up, up a fucking unless ladder. I missed it, but I don't think so. Mantis is doing a great job though. Uh, what the way? Wait, Mantis says she's in chat right now. Brittany, find it. Uh, Brittany, people find it hard to detangle from others, of course, because we are social creatures. That's why they get confused. Every is in relation to detaching from that is almost impossible, which is why I always say introspection is hard. Right? Like that's why I think introspection is so hard. Because you have to detach. You have to detach. It is the most, you don't have to do it, by the way. It, only if it takes you to your joy. You know what I mean? But that's why it's so difficult. That's why no one knows, like, or they, they don't think, like, oh, they're like, Brittany's not talking about anything. We know what she's talking about. Then say it back to me, bitch. But no, you're not saying it correctly. Right? Like, that's not what it is. That's not what we're talking about. They're like, we know. You're, do you're the one talking about it wrong. Okay. Again, we're talking about categories. We're talking about specific things. We're all talking about blue, but we're having completely different conversations. Right? Right? Maiden says, well, level four encompasses levels three and two and five encompasses levels four. So in that, in that sense, the numbers make sense, but the twos put the value on it. Mm, I could see that. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, that's a good point. Okay. Hey, Brittany describes like level five is like uh, level five. Uh... Listen, this is my favorite part. Listen introspective person thinks like everything is subjective um nothing really did she say nothing really matters or you just focus on yourself but yeah you don't care about health. like the perception of other people uh in like societal uh values don't matter that's not what i said that's not what a five is much to you yeah well they yeah. don't mean as much to you but they mean something different to you which is not the same thing and level two and three are like um uh, level twos are like they're fine like happy people they just don't Talk about philosophy or think about philosophy. Or they Love, don't you listen to this again? The meaning of like, they're fine, like happy. Yeah. Yeah. And level two and three are like, um, level twos are like, they're fine, like happy people. They just don't talk about philosophy or think about philosophy or the meaning of life. That's how she describes level two and level three. If most of the world is twos and most philosophers are twos and most academic people are twos and most scientists are twos. Most doctors are twos, and most researchers are twos. What? What? What levels video do they even watch? What? 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 That's, that's so far from, that's what I'm saying. These are the same, I love them so much. Peace and love, I love it. These people have the audacity to lecture me about a system they don't even understand. Everyone in my audience could literally tell them, what, that's not even what she, that's not the work. I feel like I don't even have to defend my levels at this point. If you've really been paying attention to the levels, I feel like my audience could do it. I feel like my audience could explain to them why that is not fucking true. When have I ever said that twos don't care about philosophy? When have I ever said that twos don't introspect? When have I ever said that twos don't think about the greater why? What? Obviously not. Like, have you heard of fucking Aristotle and Socrates? Have you heard of, like, anybody? Like, what? Not that I'm saying Aristotle and Socrates were twos, but I mean, like, maybe. Socrates was probably, like, a chill five, but I don't know him, so I don't know. But when did I ever say that? You know how many Catholic philosophers there are? They're still twos, but they're philosophers. Rand is a philosopher. She's still a two, bro. What are you talking about? And so again, like with peace and love, these people have this mm, audacity mm, 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 to lecture me about a system they can't even regurgitate back to me. 
Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh, they prove my work. Am I not a genius? Three is like they kind of dabble with philosophy, but they're just fine not questioning it or staying where they are. So everyone is between like level two and level three. That's how she describes it. And I feel mm. like, no, I don't think that's true. I think. I don't think that's true either. I don't know who the fuck you. Did you listen to a different Britney? Most of the time, everyone is. Everyone knows that most of the time, every, uh, most things are subjective. I feel like that's like intuit intuitively, yeah. everyone knows that. Oh, so, so the levels are correct then. If everything is subjective, what's wrong with my levels? If everything isn't subjective and everyone has an intuitive like understanding of that, then why the fuck are you even arguing with me? Then why aren't you saying humans are going to human? Why do you make a living doing panels? Why do you think there's an objective? Why do you think words mean things if they're subjective? What? Then they are subjective to the bubble, which means I can never be wrong and you can never be wrong. We're all, no one is wrong or right. Everyone is just experiencing perception. And then within the mechanism and construct of the bubble and your morals can people be, be right or wrong. And the right or wrong is based off the perception of the boundary we've put onto the category of understanding. He got the levels wrong because I put a boundary, I put a descriptor, an, a, 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 a clarification on what I mean when I say. So the only way he could be wrong is if, it, if it's not conducive with what I mean to communicate when I use words. So the wrongness is in the construct I created, not outside of that perception. And then the question is, does this subjective perception in any way reflect an objective outside of perception belief system or not belief system? Sorry, there would, it wouldn't be a belief system A knowing. Right. When we work with people who like achieve greatness in certain areas, we have to assume that they're willing to be super introspective. So if we look at somebody like. Say, listen to Tom, say that again. It's like intuit intuitively. Yeah. Everyone knows that. I don't when know When we look at people who like achieve greatness in certain areas, we have to assume that they're willing to be super introspective. So when people are want to be great in areas, we have to assume they have to be super introspective. Uh -huh. If only. If only. If we look at somebody like Michael Jordan, who was very good at basketball, this guy had to be hypercritical of himself the entire time. Nope, Always look wrong. at the smallest no, little wrong. things that he did. Well, y'all shut up. You're so wrong. Shut up. You're so wrong. Shut up. So wrong. Overrated. That he would look at the smallest little things that he would do wrong and introspect on it and be willing to admit this to himself That's and improve man. and work on that. And that, like, this was something that he was very, like, willing to. No. That's what I mean. We're not even having the same conversation. Mr. Bunnell, Mr. Bunnell, you're not even having the same conversation, Mr. Bunnell. <laughs> Mr. Tomfoolery, <laughs> Mr. Tomfoolery. <laughs> We're not even having the same conversation, Mr. Tomfoolery. <laughs> introspect on but in his life he was cheating on his wife he was like uh sleeping around a ton he was partying a ton he was doing a ton of other fucked up shit all over the place people didn't want to be friends with him he was not like somebody who was enjoyable to be around he was very willing to introspect on basketball and very critical of himself and willing to work on those things mr benelli mr Borelli, mr B <laughs> look that conversation by the way was so fucking boring but man the highlights were great everyone did great Every all four people did great it was fun it was a fun it was boring, but it was fun. Okay. Tom and I aren't even talking about this. We're not even talking. We're not even have the same conversation. Do you need to be introspective to be a good ball player to an extent, but not very introspective? You do not have to be very introspective to play ball. You can be fucking 180 IQ and not very introspective. You can be amazing at sports. Have nothing to do with what I'm talking about. See how he's still talking about introspection like it's a deviation of category? Or not category, but um, what did he call it earlier? What did he call it earlier? Not a category, but like a, a, like a, you have to pick and choose what you're being introspective about. Yeah, but I want you to be introspective as a whole. So my level system is aiming for people, whether they're twos or five, to be as wholly introspective as possible. Right? Wholly. Like a whole. So how to be a whole human being, whether you're a two or a five. Now, a two can be the height of their introspective level within the bubble and be a whole human being. Or a five can be introspective and extrospection as a whole human being in relation to the universe, not just the five, not just the bubble. Right? And so that's the dilemma. Is like he's talking about being introspective when it comes to basketball, 
great. That still makes you a two. What does that have to do with like what I'm talking about as a whole? You in relation to the universe, you in relation to the macro. So there's the introspection and still Michael Jordan would just be what, a 2B? He'd be probably like a 2B, right? Michael Jordan's definitely like a 2B introspection level, right? He's not a 2A, definitely, and definitely not a 2C, but he definitely seems like a 2B. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but in a bunch of other places, he was not. This, like, he's Hang on. willing I think to you're go deep confused. in introspection. What, what? He is getting okay. confused. What, what do you think I'm getting I, I feel like you're describing the ability to, like, self-examine and self-improve like, in, in, like, a when it comes to the you Michael just Jordan example you used. Like, nope. Philosophy introspection is different from superficial self-help introspection. That's why a lot of the self-help bubbles are twos. Because you're not introspecting in the depth. We're talking about depth. We're talking about more than the ego. If you're introspecting to be the best ball player, that's only in relation to specifically basketball. Right? What does that have to do with the, the greater universe, the greater knowing, the greater consciousness? Like Mantis, it's, you know, I don't know. Mantis and I have never spoken outside of, you know, chat and stuff. But like if she has a better grasp on a system she didn't even create than the people who have such strong opinions about it. But then maybe that's because they don't get it. So they feel like, um, obviously. And I'm sitting here like, no. But Mantis is doing a great job. And I know she said she's not here to represent my levels. But, like, she's doing a pretty good job. She's doing a good job understanding why it's not, why he's not talking about the same thing. But, I, but it's about your thoughts and feelings. It's and more feelings than, yeah, it's not Okay, about so like, Ian comes in and goes, yeah, it's about your thoughts and your feelings. But still, even he doesn't get it. Skill or te uh, technical it's stuff. Not, it's more about feelings. Like Marcy says he thinks about it as a means to an end. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, I'm going to introspect, oh, to get a goal or to get something I want versus, like, having a sense of understanding with the consciousness. Like, how much emotional maturity it's it's much it. more it's like but, introspection is on, much wait, more wait, wait, than just oh wait. i oh googled it love that okay <clears throat> but again levels to introspection so examine one's thoughts and feelings in relation to extrospection extrospection introspection so yes if he takes the very dictionary definition examine one's thoughts and feelings okay uh when we're talking about depth, it could be like, I'm very upset at my parents. They said something and it hurt my feelings. That's one level of introspection. You know your feelings are hurt and you know who did it. Okay. Why am I upset? Well, because my parents hurt me. But why are you upset? Well, my parents hurt me. No. Why are you upset? When my parents say this, it makes me feel less about myself. Second level. Okay. Why do you feel less about yourself? Well, because they said I was dumb. But why do you feel less than yourself? Like less about yourself? Well, because they said I was dumb. Why do you feel less about yourself? Oh, well, because I don't think I am dumb. And so when they call me dumb, I start to question myself and I start to doubt myself, which makes me feel insecure about what I think about myself, which makes me wonder, like, am I dumb? Okay. Then we introspect further. Well, are you dumb? Well, gosh, I don't think so. Well, how do we get you to know? You have to know yourself and your thoughts and feelings and your why. And then it continues. It continues. It continues. It continues. It continues. And what I'm saying is when you get past all of that, when you figure out your mental health, your financial health, your reality, your life, your understanding of yourself, there's something after that which you don't have to engage in. But it's there if you're bored or slash wanting. And the thing after that is that next journey into extrospection, introspection. Yourself, not just in relation to the people around you, yourself not just in relation to your mental health and everything else but yourself in relation to the macro something beyond something greater also something unnecessary to engage in unless you find yourself needing it it's like no, i'm it's, trying to perfect my basketball fucking game on. it's no, like it's okay both. i need to like figure out how i think okay oh god okay i the, it is both. Colleen says, to be fair, they're talking about the level of introspection most people have. We're just talking about something a little different. Yes. 
But Tom thinks that he's not talking about that. Tom and this guy think I'm talking about what they're talking about, but we're not talking about the same color blue. And they don't know that. They think, they think I am not very introspective because they're misunderstanding what I'm even talking about, which is fair and fine. And I think everyone is as introspective as they are. I don't care who's more introspective or less introspective. It doesn't impact me. You do you. But we're all having a different relationship. So the question is, do you know how introspective you are? Because that's all that matters. And if you are wrong about your level of introspection, it's going to show in your life. So if you would like to be as accurate as possible about your level of introspection, you must introspect and get ready to get your feelings hurt by yourself because you're not as introspective as you think you are. Nobody is. Like your willingness to be critical of yourself in certain areas, most of the time is going to be cut off for some reason. You're going. And he's saying, I can't make it a spectrum. Like I can't tell people's levels. And I'm saying, yes, you can. Because I know I'm basing it off my own journey. I know Brittany where she was at 10 years old and I know where I was at 20 and I know where I was here and I know where I am here. So that tells me I myself have gone through a journey of different categories of introspection. And so I've categorized them and labeled them and created a construct around them to represent a real journey I went through. And then the irony is that how many of you bitches send me all the time, oh, Brittany, look at this hierarchy system, this level system, this graph. Oh, look at this. Is this like your work? People around the world are already going through this journey. We're just calling it different things and creating different constructs around it. Right? Triv says, I think they think you're introspective. I think they think fives can't really exist in your system. Uh, um, fives can't really exist in the system. Yeah. Are you saying that because he's saying you can't actually figure out if somebody's a five? Well, you can figure out if you're a five, if you're really honest with yourself, right? Trib says, but it doesn't seem like they really get the system. Well, no, but that's okay. That just gives me an opportunity to talk about the system more. Hannah says, do you have suggestions for any prompts we could use to spark introspection? Actually, I just did a whole event on my Discord called Are You a Two or a Five? So we do them every like um year at least. Maybe we'll do one in six months. But we actually had a whole event. I put down like 19 questions. I had like a video uh, prompt. I had like this whole thing. And then people ended up doing calls with me after and then going over it or people talked about it in the Discord and they went over it with each other. So if you become um, a patron, that list is available for Discord members and you can read it yourself. It's just something I put together. But ultimately, the best prompt you can use, which is free, is to ask yourself why. Why do you do anything you do? From down to like, why am I drinking this water right now? Why am I drinking water? Start there every day. Here, you don't even buy the Discord. Listen to me. Just in your, right now, why are you watching me on stream? Give the real, like the answer that comes to your mind and then actually ask yourself again. But like, really, why are we watching this stream? Why are we watching Brittany Simon? Why do you, why are we doing this? Start there. What am I, why am I right now? Why am I doing what I'm doing right this second, right in this moment? Pause. What am I doing this for? Why am I here? What am I doing? What does it mean to be doing? And then keep asking yourself that until you run out of ways to ask yourself why. Spoiler, you'll never run out of ways to ask yourself why. Manta says, why am I not drinking water is the real question. Touche. Haley says, um, sorry, I've never heard you say, where do you think Peterson is on your level scale? He's a two. Like to have some sort of ego that stops you from being willing to introspect in specific areas. And so in order to get past that ego and introspect, you are going to have to do work to start to be self-critical and willing to admit mistakes and, and uh, things like that. These are all, this is what I'm talking about, where I'm talking about like in different sections of your life, in different areas, some spots, you're going to be willing to be more self-critical and self-analyze uh, versus- Yes. And you can do that for a lifetime and never stop being a two. But then there's different things to inter like introspect about that are about extrospection, introspection that are beyond that and more into the self, more into the universe. Yes, that move you along further. He's, he's explaining twos perfectly. He is. He ex exactly. Twos can do this for their whole lifetime. And it's so much work they'll never think to go to five. 
unless you're a person who needs to go to five. You know, sometimes I'll, I'll meet people who are like, I think I was a five as a child. I was like, oh, really? You think you were a five as a child? And then I'll just start pulling apart their life and their decisions. And they're like, okay, maybe I wasn't a five as a child. I was like, no shit. You don't even know why you were doing those things. You don't even know why you're doing anything right now. People will literally be like, hey, I think I was five as, a, as like a 10 year old. I'm like, oh, really? Because they just don't understand. It's like they want to get to the finish line. There is no finish line. You're not going to get some magical powers if you're a five, guys. You're just going to realize there's more work to do. Other spots, but the like the parts of your life that you're willing to do that in are going to vary. And we're going to put a value on the ones that you are uh, willing to do it in and other values on the other ones that you're not willing to do it in. Yes, but I think when it comes to introspection, the value is placed on like feelings. Oh, my God. Someone's starting. You can't hear the road work or like the construction work outside, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it's fine. No. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, this, I disagree, but I need to, uh, I, I don't know why I disagree. I just think that no, the way that you're explaining interest, right. inter it's all huh? about feelings. No, you're a hundred percent right. I it is. I just no, 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 why Hang this on. is still feelings. I just explained why this is still feelings. No, I literally just, just calm I, down. I feel like it's no. mostly feelings. I don't think those things we will categorize as int being introspective. I'm talking about your thoughts. I'm talking about your feelings. I'm talking about the way that you analyze things. That's what, it's the same thing. That's what we're talking about. They're all talking about blue, but they're all talking about different shades of blue. Yes. Okay. Okay. When I think about int being introspective, I, the synonyms that they describe is inner self, emotions, and stuff like that. So wh when I think about inner self, I don't really think about thoughts. I think about like your emotions, like what makes you happy and um, why things makes you make you sad. I don't, I don't feel like the... Uh, the um mj example is like adequate explaining like uh, him being um introspective like improve true that was a bad example does in a sense isn't jordan peterson someone who would have to understand his own motives in order to help his clients no as a clinical psychologist or do you mean as a streamer you don't have to know much about yourself to help people right like you don't have to know much about yourself to help people mars says he deaf thinks two is the final level and he's frustrated. I mean, everyone thinks every, like, that's what I mean. You're frustrated. You're frustrated with yourself. Caitlin says, I identify as a four because I just want to die jokingly. I haven't thought about my own level. I mean, you know. <laughs> Proving his game and whatever. I, I don't know. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't say anything about his inner self. Why? I don't know. I, I kind of agree. Like, I think I'm having trouble with that example because I don't think it, takes introspection necessarily to become like a really good really skilled basketball player uh or re or like a ceo I, I, to some to some level it does hang on i'm not finished to some level it does but only in relation to the bubble so again twos introspect in relation to the bubble fives introspect in relation to the consciousness in the macro so twos introspect in relation to the bubble i want to be a good basketball player what's a basketball player what is that that's you in the bubble. So you're having an introspection relationship, but it's not what I'm talking about. That's a difference. Okay. And then a five is introspecting in relation to the consciousness outside of the bubbles, even though we all live in a bubble, but we're relating it to the macro, to the self. So when I do the, the exercises, the thought exercises with my callers, I ask them to take themselves as they are now with all the information they know and to put themselves in a secluded area. And to ask themselves, like, what would they do with that area? And it's amazing what you learn about yourself when you think about it. The idea is to remove yourself from the world and ask yourself, like, what do I as a consciousness understand about myself and what I want? And, like, what am I actually doing here? So, again, like, you, you know what I mean? Like, it's in relation to. That's why when I made the two-hour levels video, I say, like, Zuko introspects. Obviously, he introspects. He pops bubbles. But he never asks himself, who am I in relation to the universe? He only asks himself, who am I in relation to the Fire Nation? Who am I in relation to the Avatar? Who am I in relation to being Zuko? He never asks himself, like, who am I in relation to my own consciousness outside of all of these bubbles? Instead of against the bubble, against the consciousness. Mikey with the super chat, let's go. Being a five literally doesn't matter as much as people think. They view it as a ladder instead of stones on a path. Exactly. 
That's the problem. And that's where humility comes in. It's, I'm not bragging when I say I'm a five. I'm saying, holy fuck. I just realized like, I'm at the baby steps now of the next part of my journey. All I'm saying to the right person is like, oh my God, I'm restarting again, but on a different, like on a different level of the boss, same game, different level. But now I'm back at the bottom again, right? I'm just back at the bottom again. Manta says, Brittany, I think twos maybe hear macro and they think society is bubbles, which to be fair, okay, check this out. Where's my, oh, hold on. Okay, check this out. Macro, macro meaning outside of society. So remember there is, okay, we are human beings evolved on a planet and we form societies where groups of individuals who form societies, right? So on the macro, we're living in the universe. We evolve into societies out of individuals. And then within those individuals, within those societies, there are specific consciousness, specific individuals who realize like, okay, outside of society, outside of my bubble, who am I? And that question is much harder to answer because you can't use society to reference who you are. But most people are convinced they use other people to reference who they are. Yes. And then no. So yes, that's the baby steps into the next journey, which is like, who are you outside of the bubbles? Even though you live in a bubble and even though you're going to end up in a bubble, who are, who are you outside the bubbles? And then you can choose to either jump back into a bubble or to like construct a bubble of your own, right? So yes, like, you know what I mean? Uh... Sassafras says, so what do we do if we're stuck at four? Um, keep going. Keep introspecting. Keep studying. Keep living your life. Keep asking yourself why. And time is on, like now it's a time game, right? Everything now is about time and curiosity and learning. Four was my hardest stage personally. I really hated four. I think it was the worst time for me. But also like, it was all about time. It was also my greatest time. It was the worst and the greatest. It was the worst of times. It was the greatest of times. You know, so four personally, I think is very difficult. But everyone has a different relationship. Some people, their three is much harder than their four. For some people, their three is much harder than their four. You know, <clears throat> Caitlin says, I'm trying to ride the bubbles and make them work for me. Currently in my own little baby tiny bubble all alone, trying to mentally handle constantly having to bubble hop to survive. More sleep could help. Oh, more sleep always helps, girl. Let me tell you. More sleeps always help. So what level is Joker? Joker from Batman or Joker from One Piece? <laughs> um, I don't know Joker yet in One Piece very well. So no spoilers, but Joker from Batman? Um, It's hard to say, but probably a mixture of like a two. A? Like a 2A-ish Joker, I think, from Batman, I think. You know, Aim says, yes and no, Jordan thinks he has all the answers and refuses to acknowledge other points of view as valid. Only seeing his point of view is correct. That's, that's the problem with Jordan Peterson. He's afraid and his fear is causing him to hurt a lot of people unnecessarily. And he's not curious at all. Jordan Peterson, in some ways, was so curious in the past, but as of late, has become little to not curious, which is a journey. Maybe it's just everything's a moment in time. So maybe Jordan will pop out of that. You know what I mean? Haley says, do you think there's a bit of a cycle people go through at or after stage five? There are patterns you notice? Yes. That's why I call the baby five. I've noticed a pattern of a baby five stage. You know what I mean? So a baby five stage. And then um, there's like a, a journey that goes on forever, but everyone goes through stages. Like I've noticed I've noticed there's less categories. Like it's not like once you're a five, you're like an A, B, or C. I feel like twos distinctly have that, but I don't notice that pattern in like the other levels. I don't notice a a, an, a subcategory for fours or fives or threes. I just noticed it for twos. So that's why I gave two subcategories because there doesn't seem, it seems like once you reach five, you're so open and curious to whatever's true, or you should be at least, if you're engaging in in introspection, 
that you understand where you're limiting yourself and where you still have to go because we're all self-limiting. We do that because we're not ready for the next part, but we know it's there and it's just a matter of time, right? It's just a matter of time. Time is your best friend. I can't wait to meet 42-year-old Brittany. I just think she's going to be so amazing. I really think she's going to be so great, but I'm not ready to be her yet because I'm still preparing to be her, right? That's how I look at it personally, you know? Um, no way Joker is thinking why. Well, I think Joker does question why is he obsessed with Batman and why does he have to be the Joker? But he's also possibly just a mentally ill character mixed in. It depends on which Joker. It depends on what stage we're thinking of Joker. And look, I don't know much about Batman. It's been many years since I've obsessed over the Batman bubble. Um, I used to love the Batman bubble, but I, I, it's been many, 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 many years since I've done that. So I, I don't quite know, but I would say the Joker from the cartoons and the Joker from the Batman that I knew growing up would be like a 2A. The Joker from like the recent movie with Joaquin Phoenix is like, I don't even know what, that's just a mentally ill person. You know what I mean? That's just like a 2B, 2C maybe, 2C. So it just depends on like which version of the Joker we're also talking about. So anyways. Like it's kind of shallow because I'm not sure if you, if, I'm not all CEOs, but I can assume that someone who's willing to put that much work. How introspective do we think Elon Musk is? How introspection, introspective do we think Trump is? How introspective do we think these big, name somebody famous. How introspective do we think Napoleon was with his complex? How introspective do we think the King of England was, King of England, Henry, who was chopping off people's heads? Is that his name? Who do, how do we think, how introspective do we think these people are? into something that's external like to themselves i don't know if they're actually going to be like that much of a deep philosophical thinker about their own like emotional like cognitive and behavioral processes relating to their consciousness yes man there's probably yes. a different word you describe that quality i like how tom acts like he's frustrated at mantis when really tom is frustrated with himself <laughs> but one thing about being introspective I, i'm thinking about inner self like like in your emotion like that's all i'm thinking about not like other stuff well like it's a number of things right it's pretty similar like it, it takes a lot to be introspective first it takes like like yes think like turning all the arrows inward like not not completely blocking out everything outside but just like focusing on just you and your like the way you are and why you do the things you do so it, it's like a process of also like self uh discovery and self-acceptance to some degree and then self-evaluation and self um being not critical in like a harsh way but you know what i mean right. self-criticism -cri and analysis and then mm -hmm. and then using yeah. that in all areas of life right that's what i'm saying correct mm -hmm. that's what i'm talking he's about. not saying it he's not saying it he thinks he's saying it and he is as a two but he's not saying it the way mantis is saying it so to be fair to tom he is accurately describing how twos play with introspection right how twos introspect Twos introspect within the construct of the bubble and usually in relation to other people because they don't even know how to think of themselves outside of the bubbles. That's why it's so devastating to become like a three, four, mostly a four, right? That's why, I, look, I don't usually level people, but that's why I talked to Kidology and I looked at her and I was like, why are you trying so hard to find a fucking bubble? When obviously I think Kid's journey is probably going to be to pop the bubbles and construct her own. But that's a journey that takes time. You can't just decide to do that overnight. You have to go through the motions. You have to fit into this new version of yourself. My prediction for Kidology is that she will eventually become a four. And I think she's a three right now trying to be a two and trying to find her bubble. And look, threes are glorified twos in a lot of ways. So she's, she's still a two, but she's a two who's a three, I think. And that's my, again, I don't know the inner workings of, of Z. We've never talked in private. But from what I've seen of her journey as I watch her, I see her struggling with her identity in relation to the bubbles. When she says, I'm on the bottom of the dating pool as a black woman, she's talking about a bubble. She's judging her inner consciousness in relation to the relationship the bubble is perceiving her as, which is how twos think, which is valid and reasonable. And eventually it might run out. So the question is, what do you do when it's not enough and you haven't found your joy yet? You cross that bridge and you hop over to four. And four is probably going to feel devastating because now you're even more estranged in a way that you thought you could have never been more estranged because you already felt estranged to begin with. Now you're going to feel even more alienated. But it might feel better than the alienation you were feeling before 
or it might feel a little bit like too much, right? And then eventually you get to five, which takes time and effort, right? So when I'm talking about basketball again, I'm talking about, yes, your actions, the things that you're doing, and then questioning why you're doing that, being willing to self-analyze, be critical of yourself, and then reassess uh, how you should do these things in the future and then try to improve on that. Like, that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about uh, introspection. And yes, I think that that, like, as somebody who played sports for a while, like, that introspection was definitely important because there is an ego that you have to get. Yes, he does. Pra everyone, even babies practice introspection. Now, my level system would put you into categories of how you're having a relationship with that introspection. Even babies introspect. Absolutely. Absolutely, right? Um, hold on. Uh, Savory says, to me, it looks like Peterson was ostracized from his own bubble and he has been trying to hold his reality together by telling others how to think. Peterson is a really good example. Kat Von D recently went with her husband to a Peterson discussion and was shocked that everyone looked the same there. She goes, it's so weird. I left like this bubble... And I hopped into this new bubble of like free thinkers and all the free thinkers look the same. And it's like, yeah, because ultimately once you're a part of a group, you're part of group think, whether you like it or not, because that's the only way society works is that we agree as a general populace to move in a direction, which is why introspection is an individual journey. Okay. Extrospection, introspection, once you get to a certain stage of it is only in relation to yourself and not the bubbles. So Kat left this secular bubble where these progressive people were mad at her for not vaccinating her baby, jumped into the Christian bubble where people embraced her because she was this famous anomaly, but also she feels alienated there as well because she feels like people don't understand her. It's not about other people. Your relationship with Christ isn't about other people. It's your relationship with Christ. Now it's only in relation to other people if you belong to a congregation and a church and a belief system and rules. And even then, within the construct of the two bubble, you still have to have a personal relationship with God and or the bubble. Okay. So again, Jordan Peterson was obviously in a bubble he really liked. Then he got popped out of the bubble. He had his moment. He jumped into many bubbles, found a home in one bubble, and now has curated his whole life around this bubble. And it's fine. It's not like the worst thing he's ever done. There are, per, there, According to my morals, there are worse people than Jordan Peterson. He's not my favorite person. I think he does a lot of harm towards trans people. And I hate that part. But what are you going to do? The road to hell is paved in good intentions, you know? Colleen says it's hard enough for people in my life to introspect as twos. I could never expect them to go to the journey of five. Exactly. Actually, that's the biggest part of the introspection journey as well is recognizing that it's not about other people. It's not about other people coming with you. It's not about other people doing it with you. It's about them all on their own journey. Like I've told my level system to my siblings, you know, and they all think it's really funny and they reference it and they all just kind of tease me about it. But then some of them will call me and be like, yo, 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 is it four if I do this? And I'm like, oh, now we're interested in the levels. And they're like, it's stupid. I hate it. But if I do this, does that make me a two or a four? And like, I think that's cute. Because what it is, is they're telling, that's telling me that while they're sitting there thinking, my sister's so dumb, they're also experiencing a life where they're like, she got a point though, she got a point. And I'm like, because you'll start to see it. My favorite comments I ever get are people that are like, when I first saw your level system, I fucking hated you and I thought you were a cunt. And then a year later, I realized like, oh, fuck, I get it. And I'm like, noise. That's, that's great. Like as a person, again, because it's not my journey to care where you are in your journey. It's my journey to focus on my journey. And if our journeys cross paths again, great. You know how many people like become my callers because they're like, oh, I saw your shit and I thought it was dumb. But then I realized like, oh, I think I know what you're saying now. I'm like, cool. Cool. But if not, then don't use it, bro. There are other people with other systems or other people with other ways of observing. There are other introspective people doing other introspective things, you know? Discourse says being a five is like owning your own PC at home and choosing what software you want. Being a two is like using an internet cafe PC where all the software comes pre-installed and you have to choose what app you want to run from a list of preset options the bubble given to you. Mm -hmm. Does that resonate with you guys? Past in order to actually start these processes in the first place. And even like mm -hmm. coaches trying to get you to improve on things and telling you how you're doing something wrong, it takes a lot to even listen to what they have to say and then try to put that into practice. These are all... Um, being a good basketball player 
is asking yourself how to be good in relation to the object or the sport you're playing. And though it takes a humility to be better and listen to people and introspect slightly, it doesn't take much introspection to be a professional athlete. It just takes enough, which is different. Uh, these all take introspection and uh, discipline. I like and, and, I, and, I, and I also, yeah, go ahead, I also yeah. think, I also think that like when you, and hey, I'm not there clearly, but like when you uh, become really like adept at introspection it's not something that you you do after the fact a lot of the time it's like when you're really skilled and well practiced and you really keep doing it constantly it's something that you become m much more capable of doing in a present moment like it's something that you can bring closer to the present as opposed to like after the fact or yeah. when something's already Ab absolutely perfect example and something that i know like that's why i call it like a baby five it's like i know it but it's still not as like that's why i think Brittany at 42 is going to be so much better at what mantis is like explaining this this uh, did you hear her this is a very let me replay it, it this is so good really keep doing thing that you do. like when you uh become really like adept at introspection it's not something that you you do after the fact a lot of the time it's like when you're really skilled and well practiced and you really keep doing it constantly it's something that you become m much more capable of doing in a present moment like it's something that you can bring closer to the present as opposed to like after the fact or this is a skill that you practice for the rest of your life so this okay pay attention because this is my favorite part this is the most humbling part of like realizing five doesn't mean anything and it only means what you think it does it only means you're now learning how to practice this. Practice, practicing introspection is like going to the gym every day. And if you guys work out, you know how hard that is. But it's like, it's the same thing with introspection. It's practicing it in the moment, in your present moment, in the now. So sometimes on stream, you'll see me, what I call evoking your free will is accessing your introspection in the most real time versus what I call like reacting like naturally you're in the moment, the moment swept you away like a wave. Sometimes I'll see myself and I'm like, oh, look, I see myself not like completely evoking my free will, which means not completely being as actively in the present moment introspective. I can see myself in about 30 seconds, I'm going to realize what I did. And that's, that's how it's away from you. It's like, oh, fuck, I want to catch up. Do you guys remember? So I triggered my PTSD twice. The first time I triggered my PTSD, it was because I felt so in love because I had realized I finally found a man, a person, a human, a consciousness, regardless of gender, who was going to hold sacred, like the union we were about to do, the adventure we were about to do together, this person who was not going to rape me, this person who was not going to lie to me, this person who was going to be my life partner. And I was so happy and amazed that I had run into this human in this lifetime because I didn't plan on it. And it's so nice. Like I just didn't know the probability of doing it. Like, what were the chances that it triggered my PTSD? And my body was like, no, we haven't. Are you sure? And I was like, I'm, I'm positive. But it was such a new relationship that it sounds outrageous. But like, when you know, you know, for real, for real. Like, when you know, you know, if you're in that category, you know, for real, for real. And so here I was like triggering myself out of joy. And I, you know, I dealt with it. I could introspect while I was having it happen. But what I was doing was I was waiting for my mind and my body to catch up. Same thing with whether or not I was having babies. I knew myself well enough to know I wasn't going to have bio babies or that I was going to get married. But my body, my genetics, my trauma, my biology was still unconvinced. Even though I knew, even though my consciousness had already introspected into the future, my present moment, Brittany, was like, mm, I don't know. And I was like, no, 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 it's true. And it was like my my present self was trying to catch up with the introspective self that already discovered it. And I was like, no, she knows. Like, I'm telling you, this is the right decision. Same thing with, I told you guys, one day I would wake up and it'd be like, I'm not gonna have a baby. But I knew I had to wait until I was that person. I knew it was coming. I knew I was pretty positive, but I wasn't that person yet. Until one day I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna have a baby. Hmm, I'm not gonna birth a baby. Oh, okay. Even though I knew, I've been talking about it for months on stream. You knew that I knew, but I didn't know until I knew. Until I became that person, that version of Brittany that was like, oh yeah, we're not gonna have a baby. But I already knew that. I just wasn't that person yet. So it's like, you can know yourself. You still have to give yourself the time to be in sync. So your body, your genetics, and your consciousness in sync into one. That's the journey you'll be on for the rest of your life.
You already know. You already know when you're actually going to start going to the gym for real, for real, versus when you tell yourself you're going to the gym. You know you're lying to your friends and family and to yourself when you say January 1st, I'm going to the gym and this is for real this time. You know it's not for real, girl. And when it becomes for real, for real, you know because it's different. It is significant. You know when you're lying to yourself. Even when you don't know, you know. You know. And then you disguise it and you hyper intelli- intel- uh, intellectualize it and you convince yourself, Tom knows. He does. He knows Mantis is talking about something else. And Mantis knows she's talking about something else. They know they're having a miscommunication. But for some reason, you know what I mean? They know. You can see it in the way the conversation is going. You know? when something's already happened it's like you start getting much better and more proficient at it so that in a moment of like let's say but it's hard to admit you know and you might decide i'm not gonna know i'm not gonna go down that journey you know the non-binary people are not a threat to you but also like think about it the same people that believe in god can't believe gender is a construct you are okay believing in magic but not in gender You know the non-binaries are not the reason America is dying or the West is imploding. You know. But you don't really want to know, so you pretend you don't know. Right? It's like you know, but you don't know. Or you know, but you don't know. If you guys are not watching me on screen, it's like in your head you know, but your body doesn't know. Or your body knows, but your head doesn't want to know. When your body knows, but your head denies you it, you intellectualize yourself out of wisdom. Wisdom is about humility. It's not about how smart you are. Wisdom is about humility, not about the ego. So you know, but you're going to intellectualize your way out of knowing. And that's why you stay in that bubble and you don't introspect. It's why you don't go deeper. Because you're so smart, you trick yourself out of it. Or you're so dumb, you don't even realize it's there in the first place. High emotional uh like something triggering or in a moment of high stress or in a moment of this, you're able to like understand yourself that well that you can not, that you can like change the way you would want to react and just respond and blah, 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 mm-hmm. blah, blah. So it's less mm-hmm. about like learning from mistakes. You just, you get better at, um, at like, Oh my gosh, Kane, I love your name. You said unrelated. Just wanted to say you're amazing to listen to when you're doing something. Just came home from a long walk and been listening to you this entire time. Thank you so much. I love the name Kane boy or girl. It's like a great name. Dealing with situations. So you don't, even necessarily make those mistakes although everyone's human so they're going to but yeah exactly you stop yourself from making some mistakes but you're human so you'll always make mistakes the question is which kind of mistakes i don't know oh. I, there's something about the way you see it yes bayleaf says my grad school advisor said to me that truth isn't about your ego and the ego gets in the way of truth amen tom that i just disagree with and i haven't quite put my finger on it but it just like Do you know I, I the just, reason why it's because the, the way something. tom described um uh, the MJ version, like he said that, okay, uh, it takes a lot of like attention and um, skill to listen to your coach and apply it to your gameplay. It's basically, he's basically saying, oh, uh, you're basically applying what you learned. And that is like a part of introspection. And I and willing to admit that you did something wrong, that you can improve on mm-hmm. that thing. And the more introspective. Yes, you- but why? And the depth of the why. Why do you need to prove, improve on that thing? Why weren't you improving on it in the first place? Why do you even need to improve on it? And then to what depth you can go. Playing basketball is great, but if you're only introspecting using basketball as the tool, you're not going to introspect very deeply. Get in the better you get, the more your ego grows, the less willing you're going, the, yes, the less, less willing you'll be to improve on those things in the future. That means that you have to be more introspective to get past your ego again, to be willing to admit that you are making mistakes and things that you can improve on again. And it is a never ending cycle of improving, getting better. Your head gets inflated. You're thinking, yes, I'm fucking better than all these other people. They can't tell me what I can or can't do. And nobody, nobody could help me improve. But then you still have to get past that over and over again to be willing to improve. And it's like, yes, it's a never ending cycle of introspection and ego. Huh. And fighting with yourself, yes. This process just now that you described, that is introspection. I know. But I'm talking with... about basketball. <laughs> yeah, but, What but I just described process. was me talking brother, about basketball. Brother, brother, you, the process you just said, like uh, letting go of your ego, that is like, that is in- introspection. This is like what I've been other... talking about the entire freaking time, Aryan. This is what I've said over and over. I'm just. Because they're both, they're all talking about, say it with me, blue, but we're all talking about different colors of blue. Repeating myself. 
Yes, I. The fact I, that you I, understood it this you time to... is good, but it's the same thing over and over. But well, you added unnecessary sentences. Like, <laughs> why just right. say you I'm, let go of your I, ego? I, look, no, you wait, need to introspect wait, wait. on this. I, I, I appreciate your uh, input, but I feel that you really need to set aside some time to go back and watch this and introspect on uh, your listening skills about that. All right. Oh my gosh. Also, I didn't mean to trigger you by saying like Michael Jordan is like not an introspective person in the realm of playing basketball. I think he's mm -hmm. clearly capable of, of doing something like that. Not better than LeBron. Yeah. I just, I think I just wouldn't necessarily, I don't, I wouldn't use the word introspection for like. Different game. Wait, I wouldn't Look, use the word yep. introspection fiction for like someone who's really good at improving on a game like i'm not trying to just reduce it i know there's a level to it and i know there is some a like game level of, of self-improvement that goes into that but there's something about the word using the word introspection where i don't know if you being good at a basketball game it shows that you're very good at like self-improvement and self like recognizing your flaws and improving like to get better at the game but i don't know if that really relates to consciousness so I, there's something yeah, yeah. about that i don't like the word you use i don't like it being applied like that but i don't know why yeah tom needs to come up with a better example because like sports isn't like it's all about like learning strategies and through practice applying it like lots of practice and then applying it to you need to get better at listening to examples that's what it is my example is fucking great you it guys yes you're just you're just a two and that's the problem is once you get to level three or four you can start to understand michael jordan examples you know what <laughs> happens to level ones tom in britney's world yeah yeah they get bad. killed yeah. <laughs> All right, brother. Which, by the way, obviously is not true. I don't like. I love how the internet totally misunderstood that whole thing. Have a good All night. Right. Love you. Bye. Bye. LeBron James. What the fuck? Look, actually, I agree. I think LeBron James is the greatest player ever. Okay, that's it. That's the whole part. We did it. Like, I think the best thing to show my levels work is to have people discussing it and see how badly they misunderstand it. Like, I think that is the greatest testament to my work is people like you guys who have like primarily consumed me, watched me, watched me give tons of examples, asked me questions, been curious and open, watching other people write it off. And then it's fine. Like, I'm not here. Like, you have to believe in the level. I don't give a fuck. But I'm just saying nothing proves my theory correctly or nothing makes my tool feel like more useful to me than watching people misunderstand it you know what I mean like I just feel like people misunderstanding the levels is probably the greatest evidence I have that the levels are a good mechanism for introspection like a good a good categorization system you know Kay, what is Kay said Tom watched the levels video parody version or something <laughs> I'm telling you bro I'm telling you you know but anyways, shout out to Mantis. She did really well. And I like how Mantis said, like, there's something you're saying that's wrong, but I don't know what it is. That's when I say, like, ooh, I feel like something is wrong here, but I don't know what it is. And that's your brain saying, like, something isn't making sense because I don't have the language or the tools. And that's, you'll see me do that on stream. There's even a gif of me doing it where I'm like, mm, this feels like a lie. This feels like not accurate. It's like our brain telling us, like, something is missing from the, because we're not saying the same things. That's why people... That's why the levels is so interesting to me because, again, it was like a journey that I went on observing all these people, asking them questions, asking them why. And people say like, oh, I've introspected. I know why I do things. But if you ask people enough times why, they don't know. Even myself, that's why I say like I'll ask myself for the rest of my life why. You know, it's just interesting. Kay says Mantis was based. Yeah, that was really good. You know. Moth says can't bring a horse to uh, or can't bring a horse to water and force it to drink. Like it is what it is. And that's why I say like my job is not to make people fives. My job is not to make you anything. My job is to exist and enjoy my life and share my thoughts. And if it benefits you, cool. And if it doesn't, fuck off. Like the stream before you leave. But like I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here only to explore ideas. I don't want to debate anybody. I don't want to debate you. I don't want to debate my mom. I don't want to debate my best friend. I don't want to debate with you. I'm happy to discuss ideas, but not if you're trying to guide me to your way of thinking because you think you found this objective relationship with like the world. Like I'm only interested in exploring ideas. I'm not going to debate you. Now, of course, if I'm on a panel or I'm jumping into the bubbles, like that's a little different. In my head, in my life I'm in bed. My belly's being fed and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is run.
So why's my life a mess? Please tell me Cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool Dun, dun, dun.